Very well, my friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. Um, let's find out what happens as, uh, Jax, the goblin, and Falcron, the cleric, the dwarven cleric, and Typhon, the human wizard, uh, step out of their guest rooms and back into the hall. It's still fairly early in the evening. Um, everyone knows that tomorrow is up at dawn, so mm -hmm. everyone has, has gone to bed. Um, and, uh, I, uh, I neglected to mention, it. we didn't get to it in the narrative, but in the course of your discussion in the tavern, you did all get fed. Simple sandwiches, mm. but delicious. Lovely. Um, right. Doesn't mean I'm not still hungry. Of oh no, always, yeah, I assume. What do you all do? You step out onto the hallway, um, to going down the passageway of, uh, of where the guest wing is, there's a spiral staircase going down. Um, you don't know what it leads to. Uh, you have not seen that part of the house as yet. Mm -hmm. um, there's also, as you step out of the hallway, there's a hallway directly across, but it seems to be uh, slightly different from where you are. Um, if you had to guess, it would probably be some sort of servant's quarters. Um, and then to your left, stretching out down the hallway, is uh, the main thoroughfare. Um, you come to where the stairs came up you originally entered from and you were able to look over the balcony down into the great hall um there are stairs going down a little bit at that spot and then you walk a little bit more and then stairs going back up so just a little dip in the hallway um then you come across uh where you gather uh, the area where um persephone and australis have gone um mm. you look that way and the stairs go up um, there seems to be a, another room further on beyond there. You're not really sure what that is. Um, you pass uh, a several guards um, and then standing right outside the uh, entrance to Lady Ravenguard's bedchamber are the two guards that you saw before and they sort of shift a little bit as you walk towards them. And you can see down beyond them uh, a few more guards, um, maybe a few more rooms, not really able to see what they are from here. What do you do? You Gre say nothing. Very Greetings. Quiet. We oh. were sent by Lady Australis to uh, examine the Lady Raven Guard one last time before we go to bed tonight. I also wish to offer some prayers uh, before this evening. Make a deception check. As a cleric, I must clarify that it's always persuasion for me, but the role is the same. <laughs> the guards look at each other. Do, do, do. They knock without taking their eyes off of you. Don't open it. That one inside gets really mad if you open the door. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> the door opens, and standing there is Pilgrim. You again. Evening, Pilgrim. 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 I must apologize uh, for my party's actions earlier. I, I know that you and I both understand that we want to do the absolute best we can for the lady. And 
I am here to make sure that I make good on that promise. Apology accepted. She moves to close the door. Uh, I, I would wish to offer prayers over the Lady Raven Guard for this evening, and also to ask you further about the incident of the night that she became ill. And if I could please have the good doctor take just one last look at her before the evening. I know we are all pressed for time, and I wish to do the absolute best that I can for the House Raven Guard. Some details are not obvious at first glance. So Make... I'd like to let my eyes fall over her at least one more time. Make a persuasion check at advantage, Falkron. Or you could either both roll separately, whichever you prefer. Let's each roll separately. Lovely. All right. And well, I have a 22 is my result with a natural 20 on the roll. Well, I rolled a 12. So I'm going to step back. And I <laughs> can I push it a little further with that natural, well, the natural 20? 20, I will allow a little. Okay, um, a little, a little, a little, just a yeah. little. I will say. I'm... She's a tough customer, so. Oh, yeah. Pilgrim. Would you mind giving us a bit of space? The way you breathed down my neck last time was just a bit distracting. It's hard for professionals to do their work. Well, I can certainly appreciate a professional. What exactly is it you wish to do? I need As to I... examine her one more time. Search for any auras of evil. That's what I will be doing in the room. I will be sitting there, focusing on her, trying to get a sense of what evil has come over her. Little details can sometimes present themselves in unexpected ways. But the occasional creak of heavy armor and the groan of a well-oiled sword, a hand upon its hilt, does make me a bit nervous. Surely you understand. It's a compliment. She opens the door. She still doesn't, expression has not changed from, she's still glaring, but glaring <laughs> in a less angry way. <laughs> she lets you all come in. Okay. And she stands over by the chaise, still watching you, but not quite as close as before. Thank you. As we walk to the bed, is it... Does it look like the key that Jax has possibly fits into one of these two doors? <laughs> like, is there even a keyhole? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a perception check. It's like, um, is there even a keyhole? Okay. I imagine okay. that both... <laughs> Both Typhon and I are both like doing this with their eyeballs, like, huh, huh? huh <laughs> yeah, keys, exactly. Keys, keys, keys. <laughs> uh, so, you get a perception check with advantage, maybe, or, or is there? Uh, you can both make perception checks. Lovely. But since you're not able to communicate with each other at this particular job, yeah. at this particular thing, I'm not gonna allow it with advantage. What are you talking about? We're a, we're a crack <clears throat> team here. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I've got a four. I rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> There is a keyhole on the uh, the door. There's one that is there is um, one that does not have a keyhole, and mm -hmm. then one that does. I beg to differ. I do not see a keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If you had seen me, I was looking at Falkren when I said that. Ah. <laughs> All right. All right. So there's. So Sean, if I remember the layout of the room correctly, so there's doors on either side of the room, and. So there's a door you came in, and then there's yes. two doors directly to your left when you come in. Lovely. Okay. And the one that is nearest me or farthest away from me has a key in it, a keyhole. The one that is further away has. The okay. Key. Okay. All right. Lovely. So uh, I am going to go ahead and, um, and as, so as we kind of walk into the room, I say. Oftentimes, the things that we seek are in the doors that are farthest from us. So,
so I make my way to the side of the bed and I'm going to go ahead and like shrug my pack off. And as I shrug my pack off, I'm going to try to like set it down as, and then kind of try to like, and I'm going to get, get myself down to like kneeling so that I'm like, like, which of course I imagine the bed is high enough that if I kneel, like I'm not even right. seen. Oh. She is standing in such a way that by putting the pack down mm -hmm. in front of the bed, she will not see the pack. Excellent. I love that. That's the, and so, yeah, so I'm going to try to set the pack down so that there's a way in which that if Jax were to open the lid of it, he could go out and be under the bed. All right. All right. That is easily done in this particular setup. Delightful. And so, um, and as he, and as he does that, I, I quite honestly, am going to begin to, um, pray and I'm going to seek uh, Ilmalters and guide, guidance to see if there's anything I can do to sort of aid this poor woman. I guess um, what I'm asking for Ilmater is, is if there's anything I personally can do to like either lift this curse or aid this woman to bring, to get her well again. And so if it's within my power. And I rolled an 18. Well, you are definitely able to shut out the room and find the place with which you communicate with your god. Excellent. Um, and Ilmater's presence, it, it's not as uh, not as uh, strong as it has been in some other places, if you've, when you've been given visions or dreams or anything like that, but the conduit is open. You feel like, yes, this is, this is what is supposed to be happening when I pray. Mm. And... You get a cosmic eyebrow raise and sort of a nod and maybe a thumbs up. <laughs> it doesn't, in, in not so many words, I mean, it obviously doesn't come, it just, you feel like, I like you it. are, you, he does not disapprove of what you are currently doing. But he has nothing to give you. <laughs> hey, I'll take a thumbs least, up from my god. And any that is day. as much as you can get without yeah. casting a spell. Yeah. Can I get the uh, Can I get the care emoticon? Is that no? All right. All right. Exactly. Lovely. 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 Excellent. And I, and I just sort of like, and you just anyone watching me in this moment just kind of sees me, smile, and <sighs> they know not what they do. Oh, and do you have a sheet of paper so I can take a few notes? Hmm? Did, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Do you have a piece of paper so I can take a few notes? Yes. Forgive me, I was communing with the divine. Let me get some paper for you. So I go ahead and, like, uh, reach into my pack and, and scramble in for some paper and Hmm. Not sure I have any paper actually. Let me double check. So as I get down in there, uh, <laughs> I, I whisper. What did you put in your starting equipment? Yeah, I know, right? And I say, so as, as I as I try to like scramble through my backpack, um, I go ahead and uh, whisper to Jax and say, the door farthest from the one we came in. Put on the dust and don't be seen. Anchored uh, <laughs> of sobriety. Not, not uh, really. See here, I got a tinder box. See here, co sensor candle. I, I'm I'm sorry, Typhon. I don't seem to have a, uh, any paper on me. <sighs> there's well. paper at the desk. Oh oh, there's paper at the desk. I'll walk over and go and grab a few sheets. The pen? Think Jax, well, what are you doing? Well, see, seeing as she's paper. still in here, I'm just going to put the dust on anyway. <coughs> seeing, as, <laughs> seeing as she's still in here, I put the dust on. I right. I, I start to... Well, I was going to hopefully get this going. Um, right. Uh, scribble a bit and... Um, like, ah, oh, no. Here... You need to keep some paper in your pack and hand uh, Falkron a note 
that has hastily scribbled on it. Um, Thank you very much. You did it previously. We need to distract her, get her back turned, basically. Mm -hmm. Distract her. This is very helpful. Um, I have posted what is needed to use the dust of disappearance on the roll 20. Oh, Can okay. you do it really carefully? <laughs> oh, this is going to not work at all. <laughs> well, let me try again. Can I throw it in the air inside the pack with it closed? I mean, I feel like I would have thought this through beforehand, but I didn't think any of this through. Oh, Jesus, look at your magic items. Can, can I, inside the thing, can I throw it? Above me, inside. You could certainly try. I mean, I feel like, with as well thought out a plan as this is, like, <laughs> I, I am going to think. I'm not going to say that it is impossible that you could scatter the dust in the way that is necessary to activate it. Hmm. However, it will be difficult, and failure might have consequences. Well, failure always has consequences. It's just whether or not we survive them. So. Um, I'm suddenly thinking like this is a very bad idea. Um, remembering now what the dust does since I just posted it. Uh, it's not like a potion. Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to, well, you know, um, so <laughs> I need to read this, get a sense of this, better sense of this aura. Um, and I will just cast message. She can do what she wants, seeing me um, uh, take a piece of wire. And I kind of point towards and just right. very briefly whisper. One moment, Use please. the dust get in need, the backpack. I need to make a roll. Who are you messaging? <sighs> I know that's Sorry. Spell. I've seen it used before. I turn to her and point at her and message her and just say, my cleric friend, you're looming again, distracting like you said you wouldn't. Ah. Uh. I apologize. He does that to me sometimes. I like to go into a trance. Uh, Pilgrim, would you join me, please, by the Lady Ravenguard's side? She walks over. Did it? Did, did Jack's got my message though, right? <laughs> don't use the dust. Get back in the bag. <laughs> I don't know, Jax. Did you get the message? <laughs> yeah, he handed it to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to ask. Uh, Pilgrim to uh, put her hand in my hand, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and put my uh, hand onto the Lady Raven Guard. She's like, I just, I need your strength for a moment. I'm going to try something. And with everyone here, you're the strongest I know. So I'm going to go ahead and lay on hands for the Lady Raven Guard. I'm going to heal her for 10 health points. That's powerful. What were you trying to do? Trying to see if I could, through the power of my god, bring the lady back. Miss tried. I know. Still. I. I had to try. Now, thank She's you. She's a great woman. I can see that. To have someone like you in her household as a friend, guarding her? As, as I said before, it's duty, but you are right. The Raven Guards, they are my friends. I will not see anything come to them. Harmful. I appreciate your concern, but unless there is something that you can do that others have not, then please, I have done all I can. So I, I'll leave you to your guard and the lady to her rest. 
Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Uh, Typhon. Anything further from your second examination, or should we retire for the evening? Yes, I should go. By the way, as you begin to leave, my protection extends to Lady Estrellas as well. If any harm should befall her, you will reckon with me. <laughs> if any harm should befall her, it is because we have already failed. She nods. Good night. And to you. I pick up my backpack, which hopefully weighs the same as it did when I came in. Does it though? That's the question. Jax, what are you doing? <laughs> I think she's got her eyes. The bag's not there anyway, so. She has been distracted. While she was talking with Falkron just now, she was not looking at you. Oh, you sneaky minx. <laughs> the dice tell a story, guys. The dice tell a story. Uh, yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they do. do. Yes. <laughs> Roll them bones. Roll them bones. Come on. I uh, will oh. sneak out to the door and just see if I can open it. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> and... Is, I mean, obviously, I look out first. Can I see somewhere where I could hide if it fails? Like, say, like uh, behind a curtain or... So he's looking for a foul safe. Yes. Um, there are no curtains. But with some clever scampering, you could make it to <clears throat> an overstuffed chair that is uh, facing the fireplace. Okay. Some marriage of Figaro shit going on. Here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. If all he realizes that, up all yeah. in this. <laughs> if he realizes he's messed up, like you know, he knows how quiet he can be. If he realizes he's messed up, he'll immediately duck and cover. Okay. Gesundheit. Thank you. I nearly lost a few brain cells. All right. Um. So stealth. Stealth. Wish me luck. Good luck. Oh, 25. Yes. Very <laughs> oh, wow. nice. Um, yes, as she is having this very uh, uncharacteristic um, heart to heart with Falcron, still suffering from the effects of the natural 20 from his Typhon's persuasion roll. <laughs> but you sneak out from under the bed, cross the room, and are standing at the door with the keyhole. I will quietly see if it fits and turn it. If it's, it does. It does. I will just peek inside with dark vision. All right. What do my goblin eyes see? It appears to be a lady's closet. Ah. Ooh. You can see a couple of mannequins that are, have beautiful dresses on them. A large mirror at the other side of this room. Um, two wardrobes, one on either side. Beautiful dresses. Perfume. Many things that could be worth a pretty penny to the right buyer. Um, no, he. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, will sneak in. <laughs> okay. It will sneak in and like just close it. It's not, not not completely, but obviously enough so that someone can't notice. And he'd just want to do a real quick, like a quiet sort of like investigation to see if he could find, because he knows what he was sent to find earlier with the boxes or lead or anything like that. Anything that stands out that shouldn't really be there. Okay, uh, make an investigation check. With treble advantage, 12. You don't find anything that you would think, oh, this shouldn't be in here. With perception, do I see anything that sticks out or? Uh, no. No. Um, However, <laughs> I will say that you're a little familiar with keys. Mm -hmm. You look down at it, and it strikes you as being the sort of key that could potentially open more than one lock. 
That's oh, like jackpot for me. Um, is there no other secret doors in here? With a 12 investigation, you do not detect any secret doors. No, okay. I will slip back out and then back into the... Close it, lock it, and then back into the bag. All right. You do so. Without, without even any of them noticing, unless they've got a perception of 25. <laughs> well, uh, they, they were standing looking right at you as they, as they walked in. I imagine that Falkron had to do a really amazing performance job to keep a straight face as she watches you slowly creep across Aww. the floor behind Pilgrim, open the door, go in, and open the door, come back out, just as she's saying, you'll reckon with me, and you scamper underneath and into the bag underneath the bed as they are walking out. <laughs> uh. So you're in the bag. Uh. Typhon and Falcon are... Pick up the bag. Okay. Head out the room. Right. <laughs> you head out the room. You return to your bed chamber. So like as we're walking down the hallway, I sort of just... Well, Jax, did you find anything? Uh, it was just a closet with a mirror. There's some nice, pretty clothes in there that are worth a bob. Hmm. But uh, the, uh, the other thing, though, this key—it's—it's it's what we we call it a skeleton key. It opens many doors. Ah, uh, well, I think we've opened all the doors we're going to open for tonight, right, Jax? And as we pass by. Sorry, I didn't, I meant, didn't mean to cut off your question there. Of course. <laughs> um, I will. will it, there's, did you say there's an intersection to where then where like different stairs going to where Persephone's staying with the yes. lady? Okay. I'll kind of pause there for a moment and look in that direction and say, perhaps it is for the best. I let curiosity get the best of me. I fear that if we were to use this, we could put our dear friend in greater jeopardy. Coming up it's one steps. thing to... What? Go ahead. Coming up... I'm sorry, I thought you were finished, but please continue. It's one thing to just have a spot of fun like this and poke around, but... Um, no, I do think perhaps this is something to return to at a later date. I sought to aid the lady, and though unorthodox, I'd say the night was not a total failure. I know at the very least, I could trust the two of you. You're very different than I thought you were, Falcon. You hear climbing up the steps. <laughs> and coming around the corner is Sir Gatherin. I thought you had gone to bed. Well, we certainly tried to. I, I, I honestly was trying to find my way back to the tap room and got lost. I know, surprising. Uh, the Temple of Ilmater is nowhere near as large as this house, and this could hold half the city in it. Apologies, Captain. Make, a, for, make a deception check, Falcon. <laughs> oh. Personally, I couldn't sleep every... Ten minutes or so, just outside my door, I heard bang, 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 bang. Then it would be quiet. Who knows what that might be. All right, well, I will allow you to make that rule at advantage then, <laughs> Valkran, since... Uh, let's, are you proficient in perception, Typhon? In, in perception? In, de in deception. Oh, no. Well, then you can make a deception check to try undo the failure that Falcon just had with the roll of a 10. Ah, um, my deception will come in at a 19. His eyes narrow when he looks at uh, uh, Falcon, but then he looks at you and... Yes, well, big house, lots of noises. Sleep well. I will. Your rooms are that way. Thank you, Captain. I know a great cobbler, too. Just, we'll talk about it another time. Make a roll for deception. 
His shoes are loud. <laughs> you don't really know a cobbler. <laughs> I, I think knowing a cobbler is something that everybody does in a city of this size. Yeah. I mean, come on. Oh, Jack definitely does, yeah. yeah. Um, and you return to your rooms. Once Do I get out of the bag, I'm going to go oh. over to our door and see if it locks with the key. There was already a key in the lock for this, this door. I checked the key that I've got. It opens. And, and locks mm -hmm. it as well, yeah? Mm-hmm. More than that, is a very good key to have. You, my friend, have a skeleton key. Oh, I've told you that already. Stop using yeah. my words. Fair enough. No one shall steal from your word hoard for the rest of the night, Jax. All right, I'm going to bed. Please wake me if we try to get into any more trouble or jail or treason or whatnot. Oh, I will now. I'm impressed. I'll go to sleep. I go to sleep. All right. Our adventurers sleep. Our adventurers long rest. And our adventurers achieve level four. <laughs> However, <laughs> since you have gone to bed early, your eight hours finishes sometime in the very wee hours of the morning. You are all beginning to stir. A couple of servants come and knock on the doors of the guest rooms, having been asked to uh, wake you at the appointed hour. A serving maid comes into Lady Estrellas' room, opens her doors, opens her windows, the blinds and all. It's still dark. But uh, she goes through the motions of a morning, nevertheless. Persephone, could you please make a perception check for me? Yes. Actually, I guess the, the better question would be, what is your passive perception? Um, passive... Uh, 14. All right, that is quite enough. You hear footsteps running they run past your door and then they run away do they stop at my door and they then run not. away okay then more footsteps a door slams from somewhere in the house you hear indistinct shouting And then more footsteps coming, running by. A knock on a door. But it's not your door. You hear muffled voices. What do you do? And I'm sorry, clarify, is Australis in the room with me she right is, now? She is still asleep. I wake her up. What? Oh. Don't say anything. Time? Listen. Just listen. What? What's happening? And then I pause for a second to see if more of it happens. You hear, uh, in, you hear voices talking. Um, if you wish to try and determine what they are saying, I will need a perception check. Uh, I do. And then um, after they've spoken for a moment or two, I want to ask her if she recognizes the voices. Um, you said perception, yeah? Mm -hmm. Ten. Mm. You can't tell what they're saying. It's, you know, <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. And she, wait, wait a moment. She listens. She's, I, I can't, I can't tell what they're saying. They sound agitated. Oh, this is ridiculous. And she gets up and she starts to walk to the door. I stop her. What? What? Are, are you sure you know who I, I know you can't hear what they're saying but do you know who it is what if there are people out there that you don't know well, this is my house we're well protected uh, we are in a very strange time I wouldn't make assumptions oh, oh, alright well if there's trouble someone will come and fetch us
and now you hear very clearly the sound of armored feet coming walking out. They are not to come in. I don't care who is there. Another another slam of a door. More running. Um, I. Um, we'll let I, you think about it. Falcon, yes, thank you. Uh, enough commotion has happened uh, that you, with the highest uh, passive perception, have you, you are already in the process of waking up. Your companions are still asleep but you have become aware of unrest in the house. It sounds like it's happening quite a ways away from where you are, but oh, yeah. the house no. is stirring. No, the minute I hear like like feet going, I, I am like immediately go to Jax. I'm like, hey, Jax, you need to wake up. And then uh, I kind of, and then I like kick the bed where Typhon is like, hey, we gotta go. I've got a passive of 17 as well. 17, oh. well then yes, you definitely, that would have been enough for you to actually awaken. Stop kicking my chair. I'm awake um, already. You're not on the chair. You do, just come on. Let's let's go. Let's go. And so I I, I uh, head out I into the hallway. I went to sleep on a chair. You head out into the hallway. You I'm see uh, a couple of guards running. Do you think run a chair is a down bed? the um, They run down the hall and then down the stairs. And uh, then you hear a, a door, and then this tramp of very loud clanging. Walking from below, from the uh, the floor below, um, just down the hall is the balcony that looks over the great hall. Am I um, am I near the the room with Rim and you uh, are you are right next door to it. So I I slam on the door and like uh, and I like take my dwarven fist and go boom boom boom. Wake up! Something's happening. All right. All do I hear, right. Do I hear movement? Um. That would, I'm sure, be enough to wake up Rim and Silas. I'll wake up Back Typhon. to Persephone. What do you do, Persephone? Um, I'm thinking, Australis, that if if these are if people are about to come into the house, that might not be friendly. Then we need to hide your aunt now, so that there aren't two of us in the house. What attack? I don't. I, my my alarm bells are going off in my head. Something's going really wrong. Right. Can As we just? You are saying that you also hear the tramp of the door open and then a tramp of many feet coming through. It's the floor where you were um, in this room is wooden. It's thick, but it is not enough to prevent you from hearing. It sounds like directly below you, quite a large number of armored feet have just walked into the house. And I look at Astralis and say, "Is that a normal sound to you?" No, no, it is not. Let's go to your mother's room now. Wait, so get, wait I, 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 wait. And she reaches down to her, her finger and she has a ring on it that has a, a pearl on it. And she pulls the pearl off and crushes it in her fingers and a shimmer goes over her and she, all right, okay. Oh, oh, and she uh, goes to uh, a closet and pulls out a rapier. Uh, is there any sort of like, because I imagine I'm still in my adventuring gear, yes? Mm, sure. Um, is there any sort of like robe of like a, like just something I could grab and throw on? Yes, like a day robe, absolutely. Yeah, great. So I grab that and then I say, come on. And what I want to do is head to the mother's room. Um, but like with a lot of awareness of turning the corner and not just running into somebody. Okay. Um, you step out of the room and you see Sir Gatherin running by. And he says, stay there. Oh, well, in the room, he means. So you've stepped out of the room and it looks like a directly across from this room. It's like a sort of a T junction. Directly across from this room is his bedroom. And he is coming out of it. He's fully armed and armored. And he comes out. He says, stay there. Stay in your room. And he brushes past you and moves into the hallway. Then I turn around and tell Astralis, stay here. I, oh, very well. I, where are you going? I'm gonna find the others and the, the, the guest wing, the guest wing is to your right. Okay. And I close the door on her uh, and I go to the right. Okay. 
as you step out to the right, you come to the junction where there is the balcony that looks over the Great Hall. So you are looking down into the first floor. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Marching into that room as you are running by is four, or are, four members of the Watch, from what you can see, and a captain of the Watch. And standing to meet them are Chosric and several of the House Guard, two of which are heavily armed, the rest are wearing their normal uh, arms and armament. And the fellow who seems to be leading the watch steps forward and says, I am Captain Kybiran Holliston of the Watch. On the authority of Grand Constable Havanak, we are ordered to search this premises for persons wanted for questioning regarding the web, red, uh, the red web plague and the disappearance of one Bents Eltan. Chazric steps forward. <laughs> well, I'm afraid... We have no one here that could help you with that. This is most irregular. We have good relationships with the Watch. Surely such a search or such a disturbance could have waited until later in the evening. This is out uh, later in the morning. This is outrageous. Outrageous, I say. And you hear a voice. Oh, it's about to become much more than that. And a dark ball of energy streaks into the hall, passing through the entrance below your feet as you look down and explodes in the room, shattering the stained glass and throwing bodies everywhere. This sound rocks the house and everyone hears it. I would like you all to roll initiative. One Shout moment, please. I though. don't nope. like it. Boom, 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 Got boom, boom. Rock the Casbah. <laughs> Rock the Casbah. <laughs> Sharif don't like it. Let's see here. I need to make sure Holy. everyone is in their proper place before we get this shindig started. Sean, can you please remind me what number goes into what bubble? Because mine have been cleared out. Yes, I would like for you to have red as your hit points, and green as your AC, and blue as your passive perception. So hit points, AC, perception. Thank you. All right. Hit points, AC, perception. Did so, we get a chance to, sorry, to do anything when we got the bed kicked and we're like, wake up, something's happening? Or um, sure, now. I will give you. Uh, what, 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 I guess it depends on what it is you uh, want to do. A mage armor. <laughs> yes, a mage armor. <laughs> you're, you're a mage armor. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I'm going to make sure that everything is revealed the way it should be. I think that should do it. Can I? Can I get a? Can I get a? A, a, a yes or no? Rim, do you remember the the name Benz Elton? Elton. Uh, I do not. Ah, uh, yes. Do you remember the name Bents? Super well. Ryan? I don't. So this is no. going back quite a ways. There was a there was a, a document that was put out called The Murder of Bents at Lynn. And it had to do with a group of adventurers who came across a kind of a typhoid Mary type person. Oh, balls. I mean... I have no idea. That's that's the name. That all right, just, I believe uh, you are all in your announced. proper places. Am I correct? Um, for some reason, I can't roll initiative. So well, that's I, because I have sure. not put up the initiative board yet. I just want oh. to make sure everybody is where they should be. We've got we've got uh, Persephone mm -hmm. looking so, over to the uh, Grand Hall, and we have Typhon, Jax, and Falkron in one room, and we have Silas well, and Rim in the other. So when you last left me, I should be outside uh, Silas and Rim's room. Okay. Because I was thumping on their door. That's right. 
So I'll move you there and reveal that area. I do hope I've gotten this all right and not like everything is revealed that shouldn't be revealed. Long. I we can, there's, there's, so Sean, there's a room full of a lot of people that I can see. Mm -hmm. That's fine, yes. P Persephone okay. is there. There's a long hallway. Mm -hmm. In the middle, lower, there's a room with a red a Persian carpet and then a room with a bathtub or a mirror and then a room mm -hmm. with a kind of a lime green and Australis's room yeah. Australis's room yeah and then a little arbor room little pond the koi room I don't know what there is everything right, else yep. is black that's good we're good um, all right now please click on your uh, characters and roll initiative if you have not already oh and by the way that wiped out the bubbles yeah we we have but it's not on there some of us have wiped out the bubbles. No yep. initiative. Sorry. Oh, right. and it did wipe out the bubbles. Um, sorry. When I put something in the bubbles, I don't do anything. You, you have enter. to you type and hit enter key. If you hit okay. anything else, it doesn't work. Oops. All right. So I see Rim's initiative. I see Jax's initiative. I see Typhon's initiative. I see Silas's initiative. I think if I... you right click and add turn, we can edit our own mine oh yeah so i say mine should be all right i can do that yes i think so are we going to keep the first initiative role or this new one whichever yeah you should probably keep the first one that seems to be the most fair I so i'm adding still... a turn for falcron and i'm adding a turn for persephone yeah i, I rolled a 16. all right go ahead and put that in there i think you can edit it yourself i cannot find how to do that i apologize you... friends you actually click on the number, so you've got a zero. If you click on that number in the turn tracker, the turn order, you uh -huh. might have to double click it. It should highlight, and then you type whatever you want, but you have to hit the inner key or it won't take. In the turn order track, which I don't yes. see myself in. Do I drag myself into You're that? You're there. You're a, you have a 19. Am I? Scroll down. I see you. Ah. Uh, I'm not in there. I can't see. So uh, I yeah. have clicked my character, and... I see everybody. So, okay, so I do not see Rim. Or Typhon. Or Typhon. Sorry, I'm going to or delete Jax. Rim, and I'm going to delete Typhon, and, and I'm going to delete Jax. Remember what your numbers were, and I'm going to add you all back. Add turn. I can see add Jax. Turn. I can see Typhon. Yep. And who is left? Rim. Rim. Can you I edit can see Rim. these? Yes, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, Typhon's got a 27. 19 up for Rim. Yes. Jax and Persephone need theirs. I, I can't. Two for Jax. Can't get, what, what is your initiative? I I'm can't. Sorry. I've clicked it like 10 times, and I even tried the other buttons, and I what? and they're working, but not. Let's see. What, you rolled a 10? That's my. Uh, that's oh. uh, acrobatics, because I was just acrobatics. trying to. Well, I was just trying to see if. She did like, roll a was wrong. She didn't roll a perception um, initiative yet. When you click on it, when you click on it, it opens up a page, and up top right it says "roll on." And it's not oh, okay, opening you're up doing. that page because I'm. Uh, that's what I keep looking for. Ah. Uh, um, should I reload the page? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Is Beyond Twenty working? It's working for me. I mean, yeah, it should work. She rolled other stuff, so yeah. Yeah, just yeah. close beyond twenty. Get back to beyond twenty. Make sure to click your token in roll in roll twenty, mm -hmm. and then go back to D and D Beyond and click on your character sheet. And that might pop up in the top right corner a button that says Beyond Twenty. But it might that, pop up that, a Do you want to? There roll? it goes. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hot dog. All right. It's done that every That's other time. Everyone. All right, stop being greedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are now in correct order. First up, we have Typhon. Oh, yes. Just finished rolling, who's just finished casting Mage Armor. I've never gone this fast in my life. Um, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. And I just see Persephone. Is she looking? What What? What do I see? She appears to be peering down into... She's recoiling from a massive explosion that's just happened. Persephone, this explosion was fire, but it was black, dark fire. It reminds you of when you fought a woman down in the sewers. The one that had this swarm of skeletal rats. 
um, priestess of Merkil. I will um, say, Persephone, to us. And I guess I can't really see what's going on. Um, I will just simply uh, mm, yeah, stay here and use my action to uh, summon forth my familiar from you know ah what is the what what form is the familiar taking today i will oh thank you sense yes oh i I should have no lizard what what else (laughs) could it be Um, a venezuelan marmot a honey badger Let's see if I can find Those honey better still. Do you still have that? I have it. I dragged okay. it on, right? Yep. Hey, Newt. <laughs> yeah. um, very well. That is Typhon done. Next up, we have Jax. Um, I will sneak out of the room. So 5, well. 10, 15, 20. And not to matter, not to interrupt, but in case it matters, I will have it hovering 10 feet, uh, like close to the ceiling, so it doesn't interfere with anyone running past me if they want to. So. And I rolled well. stealth of 27. Okay. And I've got my bow out, and I will shoot any enemy that I see as a held okay, action. Okay, so you have run, and you are holding an action. And, and what is the trigger the first time you see an enemy? Like an enemy, yeah. I know what's, who's good guys in here. All right. Rin? Uh, I will do exactly the same, actually. Uh, and I will ready myself uh, behind, uh, behind Jax and ready my bow. Very well. Next up, we have. Uh, let's just a second. I need to reorder because Persephone found her way much higher than she should be. There we go. Yeah. Next up, we have Falkrun. All right, I am gonna follow suit with my fellow adventurers, and uh, as I get into the hallway and I see Persephone, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout like, "Are you all right?" Uh, can I? I can't yeah, say you, though. You yeah, you can go ahead and say yes. Yeah, a brief statement is permissible. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Baller. Baller. Excellent. <laughs> Actually, I'll go. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Captain Kyberin, you're looking down, Persephone, and you see he's he was unaffected by this explosion. He sort of stand there looking confused. And he turns back, and you hear that same voice again. You can't see. They seem to be um, outside of the room. And you hear that same voice. It's quite all right, Captain. They were not who they seem to be. You protect me, yes? And the Captain says, yes. Yes, I will. I will protect you, my good friend. And he turns, and he pulls out his sword, and he strikes at this guard right there Whoa. so is is um the uh is it obvious that this fellow right here is captain kabirian yes mm. he's he's the colorless one yes i was oh. hoping that his nameplate was showing up but apparently there's a forlorn hope give him an aura or something because like yeah I can't, I can't tell any difference whatsoever a, give him a About power this. fist or that. No, I, I can that see works. his name now. Yep, yeah, that'll work. So he turns and he strikes at one of the soldiers who is standing in front of him that is clearly wearing uh, the livery of the House of Elzergar. Did we recognize the voice that said that? You did not. Uh, well, Persephone did not. He... Oh. Uh, first roll is a crit. And he does his long sword. The two, um, the two uh, guards are reeling from the explosion that just happened, and they are staggering. And he reaches out with his long sword and stabs one right in the stomach, doing a tremendous amount of damage. And that is him done. Next up, we have. The guards that he is fighting, the first floor elite guard, the one that was just stabbed, uh, staggers back, clutches his stomach, and retaliates. 
missing. The one to his right shakes his head, looks back towards Charswick, and uh, strikes at Captain Kyberon. Hitting. Very good. Now we have guards. Well, several guards are in this room. They are dead. There are other guards in the building who are moving. Next, the skeletons go. They step forward. These two. Each one attacks. Did he just say skeletons? I believe so. I did say skeletons. They are called skeletons in the turn order, so you would see them. But, and I will say this to, Steph, to Persephone. As they move forward, you can see as they walk, they're not carrying their armor in a way that would fit well on a person normally. And as they move, you can see, although it is watch armor, you can see between the joints, and especially behind the neck, um, clearly just a spinal uh, spinal uh, um, column. Um, these appear to be walking dead. Uh, do I have the ability to, to say skeletons? Uh, you will wait to probably lead to your turn. Okay. The guard that the two on the left, the red skeleton and the green skeleton are attacking, falls. <laughs> and the guard, the orange guard, is manages to fend off both attacks. Next, we have the guards who are standing here on the second floor with you, Persephone. One comes running down. Get someplace safe! And this one stays next to uh, the door into Lady Shasra's bedchamber. So Gatherin Stag bursts out. Um, is he visible? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bursts out. It says, Protect the Lady Australis! And he comes running down. He runs past you. It says again, Lady Australis, protect her! We're and gathering the group, and then we'll do exactly what you say. He begins to run down the stairs. Hmm. Sorry. And that is him done. Silas. No, I'm sorry, Persephone. Persephone, for some reason, your initiative does not have a name attached to it, but it does have a picture. So you are at seven. Um, okay, I'm gonna use my crossbow on that skeleton. All right. Or actually, I'm so sorry. I changed my mind on the captain. Very well. Um, oh, He's been charmed, bless him. Uh oh, I hit it. What? Wait, crossbow. Did it show up? It did not. For some reason, um, roll twenty and and your D and D Beyond is not uh, cooperating. There we go. There it is. I'm sorry. I a it sorry. A thirteen. The arrow streaks down and pings off his armor. Okay. Uh, now we are to Silas at three. Right. So first off, as I'm going to run a little bit, uh, Sean, I sent you a Discord of what it looks like for us. So there's f five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to dash. Can I move through my people with no issues? Um, it costs, uh, it's difficult movement to move through your people. That's fine still. Uh, so 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I get out in front, so I just use my dash movement to go twice. All right. Uh, and then I'm done. Very well. One moment, please. Hmm. This is going rather slowly, I'm afraid. One moment. Uh, 
I realize everyone's tense, but if you could chatter to cover my... Um... <laughs> well, you know, it's obviously prime time for Rule 20 right now. There's probably a lot of latency, and not just Rule 20, but every website out there. It's, you know, it's 8.30 on the East Coast of the U.S. There's a lot of people doing I stuff. I wonder if this, like... Um if this balcony is if you see through it or like if you like crouch down behind it are you totally covered um there is space in between the, the balustrades i'm afraid okay you would have partial cover if you yeah. were to crouch down but <clears throat> not how, total cover how do you get down to that main area too um looks you like know the... that here is the staircase Mm -hmm. ah. um, I don't want it to reveal it in case there is anything there that you shouldn't see just yet, but you know it's there. Also, there are tapestries on this wall. <laughs> A nimble person could climb down. Don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. I'm about to arrow flynn that with like a dagger and just. Ooh, that'd You're be a cool. dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Now I'm prepared. Uh, moving there, Silas, uh, you are able to see down that hallway. Uh, last but not least is Chosric. Chosric is prone. He's lying against the stonework there, and he just uh, 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 and he begins to slowly crawl this way. He crawls uh, over the body of one of his guards and makes it to there. That is the end of the first round. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have <laughs> the top of the round with Typhon again. So we heard a, a voice that was talking Persephone, to... Persephone heard a voice. Okay. She was at the doorway or the, the entry. Yeah, the that makes she sense. Hear. Yeah. Um, so going here, I see what looked to be a number of quote-unquote skeletal guards. And who else? Do, do I see anything else besides the person who... The, so you like see, the Seneschal you guy see there. at first glance, you see five members of the uh, right watch of the upper city. Uh -huh. um, you see the Seneschal there, uh, Chazric. He's trying to get to something. Um, you see several bodies of the guard. You see one guard who looked like he was particularly well armed and armored, who has been slain, and another one who is currently fighting two of the watch guards who now you perceive to be actually skeletons, heavily armored skeletons, and the uh, captain who is fighting them, um, and that is all you see. Okay, what about behind me here? Behind, behind you there, ah, yes, of course. You are able to now see the... So... Captain Kyberian, he was the good guy, but he's been charmed, yeah? Mm hmm. Well, you have no way of knowing that. I can neither confirm nor deny that, um, <laughs> that supposition, but it's probably a pretty fair bet. Oh, then I probably shouldn't have shot him. <laughs> I got a well, little by that. <laughs> fog of war, these things, you know, it's fine. I got confused. So, Typhon, you've seen what you've seen. Yes. You've I seen what seen. you've seen. I like it. I have oh, seen insane. things. Um, in that case, um, I will. Yes, I will take a bit of a um, uh, a statue that looks like a um, snake's tail erupting from Earth, uh, erupting out of Earth, and um, chanting under my breath. <laughs> Um, causing the floor to split and a earthen tendril to reach out and wrap around this guard, um, use, which is uh, my version of Maximilian's earthen grasp. When you say this guard, which one was it? Sorry, I pinged uh, Mr. Yellow here. Mr. Yellow, very well. Because we knew, do we know that this, I was, do, would we know that this captain was you, turned or do we think he's you, evil i don't know if, if you don't if have not, the information have, all you all, right, all you i would all attack you know the is, bad is guy like, then big bad guy sorry uh i don't mean to interrupt you but i would do the captain in that case because okay without the meta knowledge very well um he roll is that an attack roll or is that a uh, it is a it requires a strength saving throw strength saving throw very and good. i place the hand at this point here so it's a five foot thing 
I might have. So is this a hand that then that then is persistent? Yes. Very well. I can do that. Oh, you have something? Okay. Yep, I just drew it, and I can move it. Great. Woohoo! Uh, I will. Strength save, you say? Yes. 22, says I. You save, says I. So he is not grappled? Restrained? Correct. All right. We are up to Jax. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Jax will sneak forward, peer over, and see the situation. Now, I know the question's not been asked yet, but obviously the captain, he looks like he's hitting the, the guards, that put the other guards, yeah? It's the guards that are being attacked are by, by the watch are clearly Raven Guard uh, guards. But yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the watch. They are supposed to be the good guys. Yeah, but this guy here, he's Raven Guard as well, isn't he? The captain. No, he is he is uh he is watch. Oh, okay, I'll shoot him then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was a thingy but jiggy. Alright, he uh your stealth is still active. Yes indeed, sir. Well, let's see. Well, definitely active from him. At oh, sorry, it's not uh, a short sword. It's a short bow. It's so the same, it's the same damage. It's same the same damage. Well, 24 exactly definitely hits. <clears throat> and that is 15 damage. Very good. And as a bonus action, I will duck down and hide. Duck down and hide. Very well. 29. Mm, very nice. It's critical stealth roll. I've melded into the floor. <laughs> so stealthy. <laughs> So He's stealthy that the viewers at home can't even see where you yeah. went. Critical Rip, hit. You are up. <laughs> oh, oh, is that me? I'm sorry. Uh, I am going to uh, come up. I can't move. I'm going to uh, rush up behind Jax. Uh, I can. I have uh, the ability to see everybody from this spot. Or do I need to move to the, bal uh, the balcony? You can um, pass through me, can't you, without being difficult terrain? Oh, that's true. You're 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 small. Yes, he's small. You could do that. All right, I am going to uh, draw my bow back and take a shot at the yellow. Okay. Um. And uh, it is a sixteen. A sixteen, um, I'm afraid, is not enough. They are heavily armored. Oh, poop. All right then. Uh, <laughs> Then I will use. Oh, wait, the... oh, wait, sixteen. I'm sorry, sixteen is exactly enough. You are. Oh, you okay. Struck the AC. I'm so sorry. That's okay. It's only a, a, a paltry four points of damage. Okay. So. <laughs> hey, every uh, little bit helps. Hey, that's right. Um, and I will, not quite as effectively, but crouch behind the balcony. Uh, the skeletons have well. any resistance against piercing in this version of D and D? They do not. They do not. Oh, cool. No. Um, all right, which brings us to Falkron. All right, I am going to move forward, and then, um, Sean, is it possible for me to take the dash to go over the side on the tapestry, or is that, like, because it's a dash and I'm doing an action to go over the side, is that not possible? Climbing itself is not, it, it's, it, it's just movement. Um, Thinking more of falling with style. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's just movement. Um, it's difficult terrain unless you have a climbing speed. Uh, and you can just climb in this version of D&D &D unless there are uh, circumstances which make it difficult. And I would have to say that they are. So I will let you move to the uh, balcony. And mm -hmm. I will let you um, jump over and try to grab a... Uh, tapestry and make your way down. It will require an athletics check. Excuse me, an, an, an acrobatics check. It will no. require an acrobatics, oh, check. acrobatics check. All right. And All right. it is twenty feet. You Lovely. gotta just dwarf drop them. Just I mean, like, right? make yourself into an armored ball and throw yourself at it. I know, right? Falcon ball special. Toss, right. toss so, me, toss me. Oof! I don't know if that'll be good enough, but. Well, you are able to jump over and reach out to grab the tapestry, but you are unable to use it to slow your fall. So you fall. You fall prone. Mm. Right on your ass, sister. Yes. And one moment, please. Which 
unfortunately is not much taller than when I'm standing, but... Ooh, lucky rolls. You only take four points of bludgeoning damage from your fall. Ooh, that was deliberate. O- that only, was deliberate. <laughs> if you will allow me, I'm going to move you down to level two. Huh? So if you will scroll uh-huh. down, we'll see where you landed. Yes, indeed. Uh, Hello, b- gents. Uh, nice of me to drop in. <laughs> Whoops, that was not the correct thing. This is the one I want. <clears throat> there we go. Now everything is revealed as it should be. There you are, Falkron, on level one. Um, I will move the characters to where they should be. This fellow is, of course, dead. And this fellow, these have moved here. These have moved here. And Falkron, now that you have fallen, you are able to see the person who has been speaking, although you didn't hear them. Is a man dressed in dusty gray moth-ridden robes his hair is gray and matted and long and hanging in his face he's holding a chain at the end of which is a skull that is glowing with green inner light and he looks at you lying there on the floor that's not good that is the end of falcon's turn next we have captain kyberin Captain Kyberin turns and faces to f- this other guard here. Makes an attack on him. Was Falkern able to communicate what he saw? I'm curious. Uh, I think Falkern was too busy falling and it's pretty ca- trying damage. to get his breath back for getting winded. She Her. is doing just fine. Thank you very she. much. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, lawful stupid right, RPG one, is all inclusive. We don't discriminate against any one persons. hit and one miss. So uh, the guard is able to uh, fend off the attack of Captain Kyberian, and then he stumbles a bit and takes one in the shin. Oh, me! I like how all of us are like, "Oh God, not the shin!" Oh, yeah. <laughs> it hurts. That's right where it hurts. Oh, I got Osgood Slaughters. It hurts so bad. <laughs> All right, this will be interesting now that we're on two levels. Let me just back out here a bit. Screeching in on this next initiative roll from the broken windows are four small creatures. They have uh, wings, long barbed tails, somewhat simian, somewhat humanoid looking um, appearance. And let me see if I can actually bring them up on the board. That would be super duper special. That that description was very interesting. I know, I'm very excited to see that. (laughs) Are you sure it's not Skimian? It, yes, I'm sure it's that skinny. <laughs> winged, winged simians, I think. So I these, are, these, are, <laughs> these are not the Skyons, uh, the monkeys from Wizard of the, Oz, um, okay. I have brought up the page in the compendium that I want to reveal, but I cannot, for some reason, reveal it to you all. Um, would you be so kind as to bring up an imp, Typhon? Oh, we all, uh, from, you just want me to pull something just post, just post it in the, um. In the uh, in the chat. Okay, we'll do. Mm. Can we see where Falkern fell? You can. Uh, Falkern is right below this tapestry. Uh, okay. Um, where did my imps go? There they are. They come. Streaking in the windows. I'm going to just use one for right now because four is too many. <laughs> uh, 
they fly over the heads of the battle to go streaking <laughs> underneath and into the room through this passageway here and to go through this passageway here. Walker and I will do the same for you down here, here, uh -huh. and here. Uh. That is their turn. Next, we have the guards. Um, there's a guard coming, running down the hall, shouting, What's happening? What's going on? This guard says, Make sure that the Lady Australis is safe. And he runs past him. Next, we have the elite guards. This one stands next to you, Persephone, and looks down and says, Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Protect the mistress! And he runs back and stands at his post. Sir Gatherin Stag is next. He is busy. <laughs> next, we have Jameis Exhalterian who is the robed figure who is looking at you, Falkron. Well, nice of you to <laughs> drop in. I've got a bone to pick with you. Do you? Here, I've got plenty. He points at you and dark green energy coalesces around his hand and streaks out at you. Crap. He didn't retort with a pun, so the attack is at disadvantage. Right, that's right. It, it, <laughs> full damage. Uh-oh. No, I didn't say it. Not actually full uh -oh. damage. Uh-oh. Um, this is a, uh, a saving throw. This will be a... Let me see here. It should be a wisdom saving throw, right? I'm sorry, it is a ranged spell attack. It is not a saving throw. All right. Let me just roll. My faith is my armor, and so is my armor. <laughs> All right. So this hits AC 13. And it will not hit. Very well. The uh, spell glances off your armor and shoots into the wall, and you see the wall turn a sickly green and somewhat, and the wood paneling melts a bit. And he steps back away. You're looking a little green. That is the end of his turn. Next up, we have Silas. Uh, Silas uh, is I'm momentarily sorry. aware from away from the keyboard. Oh, uh, but he has. Said I'm sure he has something really ex exciting to do. He does. He wants to jump over the balcony uh, and uh, slash the nearest person to where he falls with his All right, blade. well, I'll tell you what, before we do that, I've noticed that I have skipped Persephone, so we will have, he'll have more time to come back, so Lovely. We'll have Persephone do what she wants to do. Um, remind me of the, the, I could go down this staircase if I wanted to get to this level. So, this is the staircase that leads down to level one. And I guess maybe what I should ask is, um, how much movement does it take to get to here? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, six. So that would be six. Seven, eight, nine. So you could get to Falkron with all of your movement. Great, I'll do that. All right. So well, I will move you if you if you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You come around the corner. I'm going to move you down to <laughs> the first level, Persephone, if you don't mind. Yep. One, two, three, four. Trying to get down to the stairs. Five, six, seven, oh, eight. I'm lagging out so badly. <laughs> One moment, please. Splendid. Oh, God, did Falkern die? <laughs> That's not ridiculous. <laughs> not yet. No, why would such a thing happen? Um, as because I stepped away from it. <laughs> oh God! Did as you make you another pact with the devil? Your... 
I don't know how many packs you're allowed to have at the devil at one point. You yeah. come down here to the top of those stairs. You see, Persephone? There are two guards, two Raven Guard guards, Raven Guard household guards, who are standing guard, guard, guard. at the, um, <laughs> the foot of the steps, looking very nervous. And you see, stepping out of the Great Hall, this robed figure that I was describing earlier. And he's flanked by four more of these guards. You look behind you, and you can see two dead Raven Guard, guard, Raven guard household guards uh, by the front door. Where's York? Yikes. Uh, so that was move and move. Yep. You do not have enough movement with the guards in the way to make it all the way to Falkrin, uh, but you can keep moving if you wish. Is uh, is uh, what's his face down there? A little more specific would be great. The orc. So, <laughs> uh, so what's his face? The orc. Up, uh, Sir Gavin Stag. Yeah. Well he, he remembered. Yes, indeed. Well remembered. He is indeed down there. He's standing here. Oh, he's That's dead. good. Where is he standing? Uh, directly to your left. Okay. Can you not see his nameplate? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Okay. He's very tiny. All by himself. So at the moment, I believe, Persephone, that is one movement. You have an action if you wish. Um, I'll attack the robed figure with my rapier. You are too far away. You oh, are at okay. the, you see where you are and you see where he is? I I thought I did, but can you ping me? Yes, you are here. Oh, then I'm still looking. I'm looking at the original screen. Yeah, scroll but, down. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down. Okay. Oh. Apologies. Now I'm there. Um, And ping the figure again. So here is Jameis Exhaltarian. Okay. And these are household the, guards? The household guards, red and blue, are household guards standing at the foot of the steps looking very nervous. Then uh, I'll shoot with my crossbow, the rogue figure. Very well. And I didn't click it. I don't know why this is being so stubborn today. I have to click it like 16 times. Things are logging out a bit, I believe. Yeah. Well, that uh, is a 17, and that definitely hits. Nice. Huzzah. Take five that points five of damage. damage and think about why you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. A vicious mockery is working overtime. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> now it's six damage. <laughs> Silas, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, some things happened that I missed, but I want to be down from where I am. Is there a way that I can use athletics to get down quickly, uh, but more gracefully than what Falkron did? Um, <laughs> as I said before, the um, according to the rules, with climbing, climbing is just moving. It counts as difficult terrain unless you have a, a climbing speed. Unless there are circumstances which could make it difficult. I'm going to say the adrenaline of jumping or going down into battle will require an uh, acrobatics check to make sure that you are able to do this um, with the, uh, the skill that you <laughs> hope to do it. However, I will say that since you are not as heavily armed as Falkron, you may do it at advantage because there is a tapestry there. Okay, Joe. so classy. Thanks. I can move through Jax because he's size small, mm -hmm. and then I'm on the ledge and I'll go. Wee! There is oh, a yeah, suit of small. armor right there. It's, that might be hard to see. But there is a suit of armor right there. You can't jump right there. You will have to go uh, closer to where either Rim or Typhon are. I was going to say I may be small, but I trip you up as you go past. Okay, so I move through the space with jacks and i just go over the side of the balcony so i'm edging 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 down <laughs> oh got it all right so make that a acrobatics check please uh, it would be acrobatics mm, i can't tell if it did it oh yep you said with advantage i did 19 with advantage uh, 19 is a success. You are able to finish off your movement. Let me see here. That's 20 feet. So you move one, two, three. So you are able to get onto the tapestry, but it will take the rest of your movement. It, it will take you at least a dash action using your movement to get all the way to the floor. Really? Because it is difficult to rip. You do not have a climbing speed. Oh. Am I, okay, well, I, I guess Is my math that. correct? Is my math correct? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So that so four, I can't, five. I can't six. see any. If you're doing something, I can't. No, see. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. counting the squares as I as I look. Okay, yeah, I was will, I was going. It's one, twenty. It's twenty feet down, three, and four, each. Five. Yeah, tw- it's twenty okay. feet down, and each of the feet will be double. Will be double cost double because you do not have a climbing speed. So you said seven squares. Of movement. Well, your speed is thirty. Uh, right? I understand, but you're saying yeah. seven squares of movement. I said, well, I was counting up to seven. So you get okay. it, six gets you about halfway down the tapestry. I was going to try to figure out: can I just use athletics check to just drop the rest of the way so that I'm not jumping down uh, for no reason whatsoever? Sure, you can drop and make an athletics check to make sure you keep your feet underneath you. Okay. Fourteen. Now that is enough. So you land, Ka-chunk. and I'm going to move you down to the first level if you don't mind. Yep. I'm going to say just because I'm not mean that you landed right next to Falcon here. Are okay. you okay with that? Yes, I, I couldn't see her before, so I didn't know exactly where she was. So yes, right. now I see that. Now there is a skeleton thingy, a yellow in front of me. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'm going to attack him. Watch out. Very well. Uh, just have to clear this thing and push this button push the button and do it 13 to hit i'm afraid that does not pierce the armor of the skeleton and with that i'll be done very well next we have okay A moment while i move some people that you can't see <laughs> Did you say we could see the imps or the imp-looking creatures that came in? You also? could see them. They flew in and they flew out, and now they're not visible to you. They are on the first floor, it appears. Okay. That they flew in through the broken stained glass and out through this passage here and this passage here. And I think when for you're saying... you on the second floor, on the first floor, that would be this passage here and this passage here. Are you seeing... What I, am I, I think I looked at the top when you, or the dot bottom when you did the sum and then the top. Right, I, yes, I did so. the wrong thing. I got yes, it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> right. This is a complicated map, but that's part it of is. fun, right? It is. Uh, so. Gotta be a damn architect about all this stuff, Sean. Come on. Why are you right. being so competent? <laughs> Chosrick is reaching. There seems to be a ledge with a very small bell lying on it and he's reaching for it and he can't reach it and he's just there trying to reach he's still on the ground he looks very badly wounded that is the end he is at at uh, initiative zero which brings us back to initiative 27 got it typhon well my friends have been going after something below has there been communication about the threat of a you know leader of baddies and that's disappointing um leader of baddies uh to my knowledge to my knowledge nobody has said anything yeah okay i fell down so there are um i will say you might have seen a spell yeah Uh, it makes that's what made me wonder is if if a spell ricocheted against here it makes me worried because these things look like they're just kind of a mindless phalanx um can i move one two three can i go four and do i not move diag you cannot move diagonal corners five now you can see i will move you i will move you move me you are so moved i'm going uh, it's a little tight i'm gonna say you are still on steps but you are right next to persephone there okay and now you can see what you can see and i will move the thing here, oh, I lost it. There we go. Ah. <laughs> All right. It looks like a little turd now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I, I don't know what happened. Absolutely beautiful. I, I heard will, the owl. It, it should be right here, and I will um, make this thing. I will make the snake tendril that is erupted from the earth and tile try to wrap around this thing. I need a strength saving throw from. Uh, mm. Mr. Exalter here. I do not believe that is his strong suit. That I was right. 
What does he have to beat? Uh, a 14. He fails. Nice. Um, he will take nine points of bludgeoning damage in that case, and then he is now restrained. Ooh, very well. Let me give him an appropriate emoji. Oh, I got the I got turd control. There we go. Now it's turd back. control restored. <laughs> Sorry. Turd Rest- control. I should have. Uh, it uh, <laughs> I shouldn't. Uh, How much damage do you said? Um, nine, nine points of bludgeoning nine damage. Nine times. Okay. Nine times. Um, he can use an action to break out of it. Come his turn, should you choose. Just say so you know. Okay. Um. Boop, boop. And that's it that's for me. Right. That's it for Typhon. Next up is oh, uh, if uh, I'm going to, I'll command Owl to give um, to swoop down next to this yellow one here, and give some advantage. All right, it swoops down, makes gives the help action, and swoops back up onto the second floor. Let's have him go about right there. Yeah, thank you. All right, so the whoever attacks that skeleton X will have advantage. I will make a mark so that we remember. Um, that is Typhon done. Uh, Jax. Okay. Uh, this thing here, is this a tapestry as well? It is. It is. Jax will jump off, try to swing on the tapestry, oh. and land on top of the, uh, uh, what are they called? The head? The, uh, the head, yes. Yeah. Uh, very <laughs> cool. Um, so you can definitely make that jump. Um, I was trying to use acrobatics if I can. Yeah, I, I will say just use you should, acrobatics. You jump here. into Falkern's back. She's she's prone. She's on her hands and knees. Just vault right off of her. It'd be great. Uh, for a 12. And, uh, do I get advantage? Did you give that one advantage? I, yes, I will uh, 20 then. Because there's a thing there that you have 20. Um, no, you don't get advantage because you're a dirty goblin. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, he will stand on top of the thing. He'll, he'll look down to what the man's trying to grab, and it's like a little bell, is it? Or yes, yeah, a little tiny uh, silver bell. And he'll like, oh, is this what you want? <laughs> and I'll give it a little nudge with my toe to knock it right, towards the, him. The, uh, you are standing. You are about ten feet off the ground. The um, the head is mounted on the wall, yeah. and it's ten feet up. So you are too high to do that. Oh, okay. okay uh, can I can you. I use my bow? You. Tip my tip it with my bow to him. Does your bow extend ten feet? He, he's got a pole that does. I've got a pole that does, but that would take an action. I'm guessing. Mm. It would. Um, you have an action to take. Yeah. Um, from there, where, what can I see? Can I see anything down here? Um. Let's see. So you. You can, if you scroll down to level one, you can see Silas standing very heroically next yeah. to a prone Falcron, and that is all you see. Oh, okay. Um, well, can I use, I mean, how much of my move action have I used? So 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, can I sort of like swing down and knock it off to him as a move part of my move action? And stay on, did stay you, on top. Did you not? So how are you? Are too high to, to just using yourself. You are too high yeah. to reach the bell. Um, if you have a means of moving the bell, you can do it uh, as an action. Um, but uh, otherwise, you can, you can do whatever you want to do with your movement. But you cannot reach the bell from where you are. Okay, I'll pull out my ten foot pole and I was like, "Hang on a minute, there you go." And I'll the ten foot pole just expands yeah. in your hand. Between and you easily knock off the bell into Chosdrick's open hand. And he looks up at you. I'm a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and sort of uh, blinks his eyes and shakes his head. But, Next, uh, yeah. we have somebody else. Me. And um, then we have Rin. Uh, if I move down the stairs and I get uh, behind Typhon, would I be able to have? Uh, would I be able to see enough to take a shot? You I'm move trying down to down the stairs, get behind Typhon. Uh, yes, the two graphics are different, but I will say that standing there. Is my ping coming through? 
I'm I'm looking at the bound, the down floor. Are you? Right, I will floor? say, I will say that we will we will put you outside the building, but you are technically standing on the steps at the very top of the steps. There is room for you there. Uh, if you, uh, I can move myself, if you would like, I would. All right. Give me a moment. Um, well, here I'll we'll pretend that I'm there, and I will take a shot. Uh, I'll move him after. I will take a shot at uh, our our grappled friend. Very well. He's grappled. He's not restrained, correct? He is restrained. He is restrained. Then I do believe that gives you advantage. Lovely. I will. Is uh, that, am I right with that? Is is restrained the one that gives advantage? I know it, it does. Yes. It does. Yeah. That's yep. what I thought. And prone get, takes it away, but he's not prone. Um, I, on my first attack, I got an 18. Well, we'll uh, roll again to see if you crit. Okay. He's uh, wrapped up in a snake's tail made of earth. Yeah. Uh, 18 is my, is my stronger attack. All right. So 18 hits for six, six points of damage. Yes. You are shooting him with your bow. I am. The arrow streaks across the room. <laughs> and it's a... I will, uh, I don't think I have any other movement left, so I will stay put right there. All right, that is the end of Rim. Next up, we have Falcron. Uh, Fantastic. Could I have done anything with my bonus action? Sorry, Falcron. You could have, of course. Could I, like, hide behind the... Yes, a bonus yeah. action hide would be advisable. <laughs> yes, indeed. Roll that uh, stealth, please. Sorry, I didn't want to cut in. 26. That's all right. That's, no, you're all right. That's, uh, that's quite a, that's quite a, quite stealthy. Um... Just you are one in. with the antlers. Love it. A whisper down. I'm a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is rim done. And next up, I believe, was Falcon. Yes, indeed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and like shout to the room, uh, Necromancer. Um, and then from there, I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action to summon a spiritual weapon. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Typhon gets nervous by that statement for a moment. It's like, it's not everything that... I do, I promise. <laughs> oh, so, um, right. <laughs> Typhon, by the way, I've just put um, a grasping tentacle-like thing on the board next to the um, Master of Souls. Ooh, uh, I believe okay. you can move it. I can, that. thank you. Fantastic, there you go. You can there we go. One, you All right, wish. so. So uh, that spiritual weapon is going to come into place right next to uh, Captain Shoot Green Stuff at me. Um, and so uh, he's going to get hit with that thing. Um, so I believe you have to be able to see what the spectral, the uh, spiritual weapon is attacking. Do I, do I not see him? So this is a door i do not believe you can draw a straight line from the corner of where you are currently to the corner where he is there is a wall in the way uh, is, that, is that visible yeah uh yeah, no yeah so uh, and then is the door closed no it is open it is an open archway but all right if he's here so then can i move am i allowed to then move over or you will it, need yeah. to use half of your movement to stand. Indeed, half my movement to stand, and then it'll take. Well, so that's. So you are no longer. Twelve feet? Just twelve point five feet to stand. Uh, it's twelve point five feet repeating. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you, <laughs> you, start, you take <laughs> half your movement. We will round uh, round down. Love it. And, and then where you move. And then can I get to the other side of Silas, or is that? Uh, sure. You, if you pass through Silas's spot, it costs it's, extra yeah. movement. Yeah, but that's difficult. Certainly, you can move around him. Right, However, uh, you are being threatened by one of these watch skeletons. If you move out of his threatened area, you will receive an attack opportunity. Right, but if I, mm, so you can but move I, through it though. Yeah. But I'm not moving. I'm moving through his through Silas's space, which would still keep me in the same range of that skeleton. Correct. Correct. All right. So if I go to the other side, and I should have enough movement to get to the other side of Silas. I believe so. All right, lovely. So then so I... just move through Silas. Move right you through. You stay you. within the range. 
Excuse and then, me. Excuse me. So, pardon, pardon. Excuse me. So I've put a spiritual weapon on the board. Move it where you wish. Lovely. Show me the... Th yes. All right. And you go there to smash him in the face. Very nice. All right. And that... And all that was my bonus action. So I will then take the action to turn undead. Does that get advantage as well? Why would it get advantage? Because it's restrained. Because you like me? Oh, oh, indeed. Yes, he is restrained. Um, good, well remembered again. It does have oh, advantage. Well done. Let's see, this is why you need an intelligent goblin on your team. At least <laughs> three intelligent people. Yeah. So right. the 24 definitely hits with the... Uh, um, but it roll again just to see if you crit. Yeah, just for, just for kicks and giggles. All right. for crits and giggles. <laughs> yes! Well, uh, it is not a... Critical. So the 24 hits, doing 11 points of force damage. He is not looking well. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, Sean, mechanics for turn undead. It's just uh, all the undead within 30 feet of me have to make a, a DC save. So that's that's right. that on that's on you, isn't it? It is. Lovely. Ooh, this is a cleric turn right here. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. We just don't see him anymore. See. What is the DC? Uh, the DC is 14. All right. Fingers and crossed. It fingers a, crossed. It is a what kind of a save? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom, I think. I believe it's wisdom, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. But let me. Let's see. Let open. me not be a liar. Those those situations happen where you just make your DM roll, you know, about eight eight um, different wisdom saves. Yeah. All right. Poor guy. So they move directly away from you, correct? Yes. He moves to there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, wisdom saving throw. If it fails, um, it is turned for one minute. And they have to... I don't think creature. they do it as a reaction, though. Oh, you're right. Thank you very much, um, yeah. Typhon. Mm -hmm, They'll mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. it on their next turn. Yeah, I must spend its turn trying to move as right. far away from me as possible. Okay, so that is you done. Yeah. Tell me how you turn them dead, Falcon. What's that? Okay. Oh, I, I, so after I like, after I summon my hammer and it like comes in and smashes uh, that necromancer in the face, he's like, now my turn. And I put my hands together and I like my eyes glow like just white. And then I say, run. And you see like all the skeletons behind me just start to be like, what, all are the these? skeletons, huh? I assume all the skeletons, mm. he said. Optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And that is the end of your turn. I and that, yeah, that is the end of my turn. Very good. Uh, right, so that brings us to some guards. They do some guard things. <laughs> mm. uh, then the skeletons these, go. The skeletons. This guard one guard things or runs, <laughs> Yes, the the, the 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 Raven Guard guard guards. The guard guard guards. Uh, to there, to there, to there. Orange was not affected. Yellow was. Uh, so I'm moving the ones on the top, just for those of you who are still on the Oh, okay. Nobody has, <laughs> no, wait, nobody's up there. I'm not going to bother with them anymore. Uh, I'm going to him here and him there. Orange was not affected. I'm still there, but yeah. I'm up above high, so I was oh, technically right. I'm okay, down well, below. Then, then Aren't you glad I, about that? I can come down below. It's fine. Sorry. I'll join come the cool on, kids. Come on, rule 20. What are you doing? The DM's going to be yelling at you if you keep doing that. Yeah. So this one can't go very far. So that one's underneath me then. Yes. This one here was unaffected, but he moves to engage with Sir Gavin Stag. This one was affected and he moves to out the door. 
Um, these guys are turned. I'm not going to move them any further than that because roll 20 is lagging out so much as I try to mm -hmm. see. It's just, mm -hmm. they are, they are turned and they are moving. So that is the end of their turn. The one skeleton attacks, uh, he feels the blast of, uh, divine energy that comes out and turns around to face you, Falcon, and attacks you. Lovely. He has a short sword, hitting AC 19. Oh, that'll do it. Well he done. Six piercing. Ah. The other skeleton is with Sir Gatherin Stag. He attacks. Uh, missing. That is the end of the skeleton's turn. The second floor guard sort of stand there and go, Whoa. well, nobody's there to see it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Catherine Stag goes. He faces skeleton. He is wielding a long sword, two hands, pulls it out and makes three attacks. Whoa! Oh. What? All right, Billy Big Bollocks. Beefy boy. Chop, chop, chop. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> That is three hits. Oh, thank uh, God. I was like, I was like, and three misses. Do you need to roll damage? I did, but I'm, it's no point. The uh, skeleton falls in a crackling, in three pieces, just smash, 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 and clink and clatter. It falls to the floor. Oh, he's my hero. That is Sorry, I made fun of your footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> he starts and he looks okay. to the guy says, what are you doing? Protect! And he turns back and looks like he steps forward to uh, engage with the uh, Master of Souls. The, the, of the, Souls, the, the, the what says. now? Master, sorry, it's the Janus Exultarian. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, only his mother calls him Master of Souls. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that we know his name either, but that guy. <laughs> Indeed, the, him. Not to be confused with Rim. That's right. Wait, Rim? <laughs> Him! He, he grits his teeth and brings his hands together and disappears. Who's he? I'm sorry. <gasps> it's Jameis Exultarian's turn. Disappears. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, don't. Stop. Come back. I cast Counterspell. <laughs> I don't believe anybody not, has not yet. Spell. Not yet. <laughs> However, before he does that, I'm so sorry. Again, I have skipped you, Persephone, because your name is not on the... Your picture is, but your name is not. So before he does that, you have a turn. What do you do? You, well, skipped, I... the, you skipped the paladin as well. Sir Gavin we, Stag. We don't, we, we don't oh, never have mind. a paladin sorry. anymore. The fighter. No. Right. Yeah, you, sorry, Persephone. You got too close to me in the turn order. It's rubbing off. <laughs> no, we haven't gotten to we have not gotten to Silas yet in this turn. Oh, uh, is, so he, he, I'm he looking at the turn order. It was Sir Gatherin Stag. Yes, and then Jameis Exoterian. Uh, he has disappeared, so he's still at six. I guess I shouldn't have moved him to the uh, DM level here. Oh, because that took him off of the turn order. So ah. we we'll do that. Sorry, DM. Sorry. That's all right. I will just move him. You don't know where he went. <laughs> so can I still get? I, him? So I, yeah. I can actually, oh, I well, can of course. See yes, him, okay. but you've ruined yeah. everything. You've <laughs> ruined everything. Um, uh, yes, Persephone, you may take your attack. All right, I'm gonna move to here where he is. Right. Okay. Yes, he is still restrained. And I'm going to hit him with my rapier. Uh, Murder him. It's gonna be a critical Let one. Know it. I know it, I can sense Tell it. Tell me when it actually shows up. <laughs> all right. You'll hear us all. Yeah! <laughs> 22, doing 11 points of damage. He's in the process of casting a spell to disappear, and he looks up just as your blade comes. The final blow is yours, Persephone. <gasps> yes! I'm so glad you oh. forgot me in the initiative roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish we could figure out why your name isn't showing up, but, uh, oh well. How do you wish to end this old man's life? 
She's the artist. So. Oh, no, don't make her feel bad about it. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so he's casting his spell, uh, and I come up with my rapier and just with the point kind of so he can't finish the spell Ooh. right like a thrust right into the neck you just give him the little blood yeah. geyser he <laughs> looks up and smiles at you and his blood begins to well up in his Thank mouth you. his last breath he spits <laughs> blood spatters all over you he God. slides off your blade into a <gasps> what a butt um <laughs> 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 and there's no other enemies around me, correct? Uh, just the fleeing skeletons. But, like, not close enough because I have my bonus action, but I'm pretty much used up all the So. Yeah. Sean, as, as he you dies... Could th- I'm sorry, you they... could throw a dagger. If you wish. Is there is there any sort of bonus thing that can be done? Like, inspiration? Is there any bonus actions there? Uh... I could do Bardic Inspiration. I'm a little worried we'll need it later. We're doing kind of well. Oh, don't worry about it. Just so. see uh, Charmin on Captain Kyberion. The what? The, ch- the charm that's on Captain Kyberion. Very well. I, we, I guess we'll have to find out. Who also, oh, yeah. um, also missed his go. So that is Persephone. Mm-hmm. Now we are at Silas. I'm so glad that that Persephone took care of that guy, so I don't have to look like a total tool for not running over and helping. Um, <laughs> uh, just because I'm having a hard time with the tokens, DM. Mm-hmm. Uh, this from me in front of Falkrin, north mm-hmm. of Falkrin, that is a skeleton. It is. That is a house guard. That's a house it guard. Uh, the the fellow here is Captain Kyberin. Okay, so. Uh, can I move through landing here? Can you move through mm. landing here? You cannot Wait. move through. An can enemy. I go this way and move through my ally, which is a house? You can, but uh, it will be a um, difficult, difficult movement. And as you move outside of the threatened area of that I never orange do. skeleton, you will. I never it. move outside. I stay in five. Every move keeps me in five. Oh, how tactical of you. Yes. You <laughs> sound, sound. Okay. Well, uh, my goal is to get between Chostrick, who's on his knees, and anyone else. All so right. I'm not, well, I'm not I trying to screw the here. rules. So now I, I've been moving Chostrick on level one. <clears throat> Chostrick oh, is yeah. not actually there. He is, oh, where is he? underneath Jax. Okay. In that case... <laughs> There's a skeleton guard there as well. Though. I'll take one step. <laughs> There's a skeleton guard in the same spot. Right. Yeah. Skeleton guard there in the exact same Oh, there's spot. also a skeleton guard down there. Well, but I've got but he's, skeleton skeleton. He's, yeah. he's been turned. He's in that corner. Yeah, he's and terrified. then I'm going to attack this guy at this right to my uh, west. And roll a nine to hit, which I don't think it does. Afraid a nine does not succeed. And then I'll stop. I'm done. Chastrick. Shakes the bell, but there's no sound. And then he slumps down, closes his eyes, and is unconscious. No, it's mm. broken. Back to the top of the order, 27. Hey, yo. Typhon. Got it. Um, hmm. So the this is the only one that is not turned? Uh, correct. Okay. Well, I think they can handle that one. Um, I'm going to uh, move over here and attack this one here. Um, I will move and reach out my hand. And um, I believe they're wearing a lot of metal armor, correct? They are? Okay. Um, I will then, um, as I reach forward, um, bits of green energy will be leap between my fingers and I will attempt to press my palm to the uh, breastplate of this one. Ooh, d- ooh, I don't think that hits though, As a f- at a 15. Yeah, the 15 does not hit, I'm Just afraid. a bit shy, okay. Yeah. Well, all right, um, well, that's decent. Just a good. bit shy. Good. And he is turned. I would have missed off on that. He I would have missed turned, out on that however. one damage. I, he so. is turned, however, so. 
I suppose you don't have advantage. He's not restrained or anything like that. He's just... I, I had it just because of the metal armor. So right, I right, miss right. super regardless. So uh, Super regardless. All I'm right, not jacked. able to connect there. And I will uh, will have Owl swoop down on Orange. Orange boy there. Go Vols. Orange right. boy. Yeah. Orange boy is... Um, he has been swooped. And Next that's week. embarrassing, and I will recoil and look a little bit nervous. Sheepish. From, yeah. Very good. That should have worked. Jax, your turn. Um, obviously, looking down and seeing the old man go unconscious, seeing a skeleton standing next to him, he will I, just... I'm sorry, Jax, if I can interrupt just a moment. Did yep. you wish to do anything with your grasping tentacle, your grasping thing? I cannot. It is an action to do so. I and, see. yeah. It's right. very far to move it, so... Back back to Jack, sorry. Uh, sitting above Choswick, uh, he'll just uh, peek around and shoot the uh, skeleton in the top of the head. All right, well, you would have advantage even if you weren't hidden, so yes, go for it. Yes, I would. Roll on D&D Beyond. 23, so 23 to hit for 17 damage. 17 damage. Um, you managed to sever the spinal column right underneath its uh, its Ooh. helmet, and the head topples to the ground, and the body follows soon after. I look after you, old man. I'm a hero now, and I'm I'll, I'll gonna like <laughs> sneak back in behind the thing and hide. Very good. For twenty-seven again. Twenty-seven, excellent. <laughs> As a rogue should. That brings us to Rim. Uh, I will step out from around the corner of the um, of the staircase. And so, in I... order to do that, you will have to. Yeah, that's a that's a leap down. Oh. Um, I will need you to make a uh, athletics check to make sure you stand land prone. Uh, you land on your feet, or you sure. can just run down the steps. I I, I will I, I will run down the steps. All right. So you uh, take an extra point of movement to move past those guards. Oh, I see. I've been standing. Who've just been standing there, like you know, they've been ordered just to hold that position, and they're like, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, what? Here, ah. one, two, three, four, five. Can I? I can get here. I think if I've counted correctly. Um, can you? Yes. Oh, should rim. This yes. one is unusually quick. <laughs> I will uh, bring my quarter staff down upon its head. Very good. Um, and uh, that is an eighteen. And, uh, oh, okay, here's a stupid question. What's the difference between one-handed and two-handed? We use two hands for the quarter staff, so... <laughs> yes, oh, it's, it's um, 11 damage. It is up to you. Uh, we're having the same issue with Falkron's hammer. Okay. If you uh, declare ahead of time that it's one-handed or two-handed, um, just let me know. Um, uh, is, okay, is there a disadvantage to doing two-handed? No, you just you have, the potential to roll, you have the potential to roll more damage if you do it two-handed. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, well, uh, if it's not too late, I would like to uh, two-handed bash this. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, it was an 18 to hit for 11 points of damage. 18 definitely hits. Um, you do a tremendous amount of damage to this thing. You knock its head down into its rib cage, but it turns around. It's seems to be looking at you. The uh, the turn ha- the t- turn undead has ended upon this skeleton. Um, right. That is Rin done. Falkrin, it is your turn. Lovely. All right. So is, uh, okay. So the, the, the skeleton that was next to me is now gone. Yes. Yes. And is the captain still turned? Do I, do I register his, him as a foe, as a foe? Make an insight check. Sorry, yeah, Sean. Man. There's a skeleton underneath me. That's the one I shot. This one here. Oh, yeah. To, I was trying I'm to protect so the old man. Sorry, he was hidden under my. Well, that uh, one is definitely dead. So now, yes, there butt. is in fact, well, a what? skeleton next to you. I'm so well, sorry. Well, all right then. I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, the hammer to go ahead and hit the skeleton that is next to me. Then, very well. You have advantage because of owls. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Thank you. Owl named Turd? No, we're not doing that. That's not real, is it? No, 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 no. The, the tentacle's Turd. The owl is named that, Owl. Okay, owl. good. Oh, thank The owl's goodness. named Owl. Yeah. That just I've got no problem calling the tentacle Turd. That's, I like it. 
<laughs> it's got some it's got some real class to it. There we go. All right. Uh, 17 to it? 17 hits. Lovely. And right. now I could go ahead and put <laughs> right back where he was because with a mighty blow, your hammer comes down and crushes it to powder. All right. So with that bonus action, can I then still do my insight check to see if the if our you good may. captain is lovely? All right. So... Insighting. Ooh, that's really yeah. good. 25. Wow. I'm feeling insightful with that 25. <laughs> He's blinking his eyes and shaking his head and sort of blink, looking around blink. like, yeah. What? Just and dumbass. So, you should be. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he appears to be coming out of some sort of strange reverie. Fantastic. So as I see that, I would like to then try to move towards the old man, see if I can't try to help him. But I know that I've. The old man is here. Yes. Very good. Psst. Falk went up, up here. <laughs> I, I, I saved him. Are you, are, are you all right, Jax? Don't tell everyone I'm here. I, just, I mean, uh, I sure it. hope Jax is all right. <laughs> Captain Kyberan. Uh, is that steady? Uh, what? I... I'm so sorry. What? What's happening? Hi. He sees the spiritual weapon right behind him, and he raises his his uh, his sword and says, "I, I, I was under, I, I was enchanted. It, it, it wasn't me." He looks around wildly at all of the carnage around him and just looks to somebody. He looks at you, Silas, and says, "It wasn't me." The next person to go is this guard here in orange. Who steps forward and let's see how angry he is. Let's see how let's see how angry he is. He was in the middle of making a swing and he manages to check his blade. He's breathing heavily. He's got dents all over his armor, massive scratch over the top of his head, blood pouring into his eyes, but he stays his blade and does not attack. All right, that is the end of the guard's turn. These two guards, what, what, are, we, what are we doing? Do, do we help, sir? No, you stay there. Don't let anyone upstairs. Next, we have skeletons. These skeletons were in the corner here. Continue to stay there. The one that is green is attempting to um, climb out of the broken stained glass window, but he can't quite make it. They are still fleeing the divine power of Fulcrum. Righteous, yo. The name of my album. Few other people go. Sorry. And Sir Gatherin Stag turns to all of you and says, What are you doing? I said, stay with Astralis. He's talking to us. Yes, our party. Mm -hmm. Well, he looks at you specifically, um, Persephone, but he look, guy, looks wildly at all of you. Um, and he runs past the guards and starts up the steps. Uh, I believe next is Persephone. Um, I'm gonna, if I dash, how close can I get to Astralis's room? Well, you would see that would be 12 squares. So count them out. Remember that you- uh, Yeah, I guess. Oh, I can see the stairs. Okay, I was like- Remember it takes double movement to go through an ally and you cannot go diagonally around corners. Oh. Did the cars not get out of the way for us? 20. Yeah. Well, 10, 20. So I'm seeing here. So he is actually here. So you actually pass uh, uh, to gather and stag. So where did you go? And yeah, there yeah, you are. You can't quite get to her room. 
Okay. That's me. All right. That is Persephone. The next is Silas. Uh, so from where I'm at, these two skeletons are fleeing. They're running. Yes. Right. Um, there's still several over there. They have, I'm going to go ahead and move them. They have left the building, fleeing as fast as they can from um, the divine energy. Uh, for some reason, I'm not having as much trouble with World 20 anymore. So they have run completely out of Riverstone Manor. Okay. In that case, I'm going to look at Falkron and say, you've got this, right? Looking for a head nod. I've got this. Go. Okay, then I'm going to run, 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 dash. Uh, Were you here when the imps came in? I uh, was upstairs, so I don't know I if they flew by me or something. Uh, I was way in the back. All right, well, you must not have seen them then. Okay. So, but I'm going to follow Persephone, so 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so you have just you have just walked through a wall. Do you see it? Oh, this is a wall. Yes, uh -oh. this is the opening. Okay, sorry for that. Five, ten. Be quicker to 15, climb up this thing again. Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. And that puts me. Up there. Mm -hmm. Fun with maps, kids. Woo! Uh, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. So I'm right there, and I'm done. All right. Excellent. That is all the way down to Chosric. Chosric looks up at you, Falcon. Secret door adjacent to master bedroom and down the hall past the dining room. And he points towards this door as he says that last bit. Which one again? So he said that there was a secret door in the room adjacent to the master bedroom and in the room past the dining hall. And he pointed to this door when he said dining hall. Oh, it's downstairs then, yeah? No. But he said that to Falkron. Yeah, but I can hear him. I'm right ah, him. Yeah, I suppose you could at that. All right. That is Chosric done. Good job for saving Chosric. Typhon, back to you. Um, I think we've kind of we kind of know the situation is we gotta save the miss the the uh, lady of the house so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five and I can look up right and see the balcony above me. Um, from here. Yes, correct. Okay, can I misty step up there then? You can. Okay. Very nice. Uh, I will cast a spell under my breath. Um, and I will appear in a blast of light um, in front of Silas and all I can do is move to um, to um, right here and I will say the threats are not finished we must find the lady and that will be my turn very good next we have Jax um, obviously hearing that, he will head off towards where he said. So how will you get down? Jump. <laughs> all right. 10 feet is all, is all good. Backflip. Yeah, just wherever you make want. A, make an athletics or yeah, make a acrobatics check to just see me. that you land on your feet. 11. 11. From 10 feet up, I will say that is doable. Okay. So you land um, on your feet. I'm going. Are you down? You are down there. I was above okay. the old man's head anyway. Yep, so. I see you. Um, so yeah, I'll, if not, I'll just jump on Falcon's head and land on the floor. <laughs> um, okay. So 
What have we got? 5, ooh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. As you get close to that, or you begin to hear sounds of combat coming from that room. Uh, can I see? In? Is the door open, or? The door is not open. Okay. Uh, 35, I'll open the door. All right, and you open the door. You see one dead uh, household Raven Guard guard, and you see another one fending off. He's, he's covering his face, and at the end of the uh, room, standing on top of the table, is an imp. He's holding a big platter, kind of like a shield, and he's throwing plates at the guard, going, <laughs> and he sees as you come in, goes, yeah. Oh, did he see me come in, did he? Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't do it stealthily, did you? No, I'd have to move half speed for that. Yep. So the door opens and he <laughs> looks over at you. Oh, hello. That... How about your side? <laughs> we were making de deception. Deception. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to take you straight to hell. Oh, okay. And then I'll shoot him. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, short bow uh, 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 for a full teen it's probably a miss um, let me see 14 hits oh 8 damage alright it comes streaking at him um, but it's piercing damage right it is indeed yeah so it strikes him and he goes, Ow, and pulls it out. You struck him very precisely, right in the center of his chest. Didn't seem to penetrate all the way. Oh, sorry. And then I will use the rest of my bonus action to... Can I move and hide? I can't, obviously, uh, I can't hide from this. Are they gone, are they? Let me see. You moved. You took an action so you can use your bonus action to disengage to move you can use your bonus action to hide or you can use your bonus action to disengage you cannot uh, do them all I'm afraid can I do it to shut the door sure <laughs> I look to the guard sorry <laughs> what, what are you doing no <laughs> help me <laughs> he's only throwing apples no he's throwing plates <laughs> And he also has a nasty barb on the end of his tail. That's me. Actually. Killer bees. Uh, uh, let's see. Is that the end of Jax? I believe it is. It is indeed. Jax. Yeah. All right. I see. Uh, I see Jax uh, run past, and so I, I go to follow uh, follow him, and uh, I from here. Uh, I, I, the door is shut by the time I get there, I presume. Do I see him shut yes. the door? Yes, you see okay. him shut the door. All right. Uh, then I will take a shot at one of the fleeing uh, skeletons. I'll, I will draw my bow back and aim for the green skeleton. Very good. Uh, and that is only a 10, I'm afraid. I'm afraid a 10 does not succeed. It ping, pings off his armor. Uh, but it is not enough to end the... The um, it is the not turn to undead. The turn undead. That is the end of Rim's turn. Unless Rim, you have a bonus action. Uh, none that I'd really want to use. Can I continue to move? You said you can use your bonus action to move. Uh, that would thing. be a rogue ability. Oh, okay. That's okay. That makes more sense. Okay, then no, I will stay right here. Very good. Falkrun. All right. So taking the uh, taking the advice that I got from the the house. Uh, oh, I forgot his, what is his name, Sean? Chosrick. Chosrick. So uh, the advice I heard from Chosrick, I'm gonna. Sh I see Rim at the door and Jackson. And I'm gonna shout. There were imps. There were there were uh, like four imps that came flying in. Find them. They're still in the house. And then I'm gonna try to move across the way here. <laughs> going like oh all these all these people and I'm like oh no they're all dead that's ex that's exactly you you saw two fly through the door that 
is right there next to the one you just left, and two fly through the door that Jax is at. Yes. And then I'm going to take... They, well, so they flew through the door, one of them opened it, and they flew through, and then the door closed. All right, I'm going to move my uh, hammer to go ahead and hit the green. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, Mr. Green. Very good. Um, lovely. And... And... Uh, and the roll of the dice. Ooh. Oh! Hey, it's a crit. Bye. Bye. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, because it's a crit, I'm going to need a description. Oh, absolutely. So the uh, so the skeleton like sees Rim's arrow go past. He's like, oh, oh, and then it's like well, the other. He's still turned. Keep in mind. Oh, I know, I know. They're both kind of terrified, and the other one kind of looks at her, and in like the skeleton way that he kind of looks at her, is like that was a lucky shot. And then at that moment, like my hammer comes down and just like stoves his head in. Very and so nice. Just kind of these pop. are these are army of darkness skeletons. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Back to work, Very you good. bag of bones. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. He <laughs> falls in a paste. Groovy. Next up, we have. Interesting. Okay. All of you running down this hall, you hear a scream <laughs> coming from around the corner that you're running to. Which, which, okay, the, the, the people Upstairs. on the upper floor? Yes. And there's a noise that came from this area? That's right, what I just picked. Okay. And you see this guard here at this foot here. The eyes widen. And they raise a finger. Uh, uh. And that is that. Next we have Captain Kyberian. Captain Kyberian says, Ah, what? Uh, skeleton bastards! Are there any skeletons still alive? One. Uh, I believe that uh, the red one is still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He charges and attacks. Come on, Captain Kiberian. I believe in you. Yeah. Redemption. Unfortunately not. <laughs> There's broken glass there because of the broken um, stained glass windows. He comes running and as he steps on it, he slips a bit and loses a footing in his Blow goes wide. All right, uh, Dirk. Looks like you're going to the gallows tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Gallows humor. Right. Let's see here. I need to make sure that I've taken care of. I have multiple copies of these because of the various people. I didn't know who was going to be where and why and what. So let me make sure that they're all taken care of. So yes, so he runs to there. I'm gonna move him down to the second floor where he should be. And he has fallen and missed. However, the the uh, other guard, the one who stayed his hand, runs as well to attack the final skeleton, Mr. Orange Guard. Mr. Orange Guard, I kind of like that. <laughs> um, he attacks. He also slips on the glass and manages to not strike the skeleton. So that is the end of that. Did I got in guard guards? Who goes? Sorry, I'm rolling an attack. I guess it just depends on who you're attacking. Yeah, never right. apologize when rolling an attack. It's, yeah. It's bad luck. Uh, there's, there's stuff happening that you cannot see. Uh, <gasps> taking care I don't, of it. All right, I don't believe that it. is done. Uh, da, 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 da. The two guards at the steps look at each other. Like, oh, is it all, everyone all right in there? <laughs> Other guard. All right. We 
which brings us to the skeleton who continues to run. The second floor guards look. There's salt the day. He just disappeared. And there is a scream coming from Astralis's room. Ah, crap. So gather his eggs. No! One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Right. That is the end of his turn. This guard moved as if to go, and as he passed, Gather said, Stay at your post! And then he moves back. Chris Avenue. Uh, I'm going to uh, run into Astralis's room. Very good. Is the door unlocked? Uh, well, let's see. Can you make it there? Uh, but is this not her? That is her, but the door is here. Oh, I thought the door was here. No. Nope. Um, then I'll have to dash. Mm -hmm. But yes. Come around the corner. The door is open. Okay. And can I see anything from where you I am? You can see she's standing there wide-eyed. Her sword is out and she's trembling. The door, the door opened on its own. Oh, crap. Uh, and I'm going to say, uh, what is this, Sean? Is that... That is a fireplace. I'm going to say, get in a corner. All right. Um, so you have dashed. That is your move? Yes. Very good. Which brings us to Silas. Same thing. So... Coming in, running around, and I come... Uh, uh, no matter how I do it, I, I can't get through Persephone, so I'll just come right up behind her. All and right. that's my dub double movement. I'm done. Very good. Brings us to Chosric. Chosric stays unconscious. Back to Typhon. All right. I will take off running, knowing the objective has shifted. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can peek around the corner. Can I see this location here or this one here? Um... You can see through... I will say that you are able to peek around the corner and see through the open door. Okay. In that case, I will disappear into a green puff of noxious mist and reappear here. Very good. And I will hold an action when anything appears especially next to her. So let's see, to... you moved your movement. I did. And that was Very a good. bonus action to zip in there? It, it was. Misty step is a bonus. Very good, misty step. And so now you're holding an action and you are, what are you holding? Uh, a chill touch. A chill touch. Should, and the trigger um, is? Um, if something appears attacking in the vicinity of the good lady here. I Very will good. cast at it. And I will say, um, you cowards, what do you hope to accomplish by attacking her? A true challenge awaits. Ooh, how brave of you, Typhoon. I got chills. <clears throat> Next up is Jax. Uh, uh, uh. I was talking about my friends, not me. <laughs> uh, Jax will obviously hide and try to sneak into the room. <laughs> mm -mm -mm, for a stealth check of 18. All right. And he will start sneaking to five. Has he been spotted? He has not. Uh, the uh, imp is now flying and appears to be stinging the guard over oh, okay. and over again who's fallen to his knees and has his hand up no uh 10 and then 15 and then we'll stick him with his magical dagger very nice 
Magical dagger? Yeah, baby. What? It's the Where'd dagger of magic. What? It's my little needle. Oh, it's the... Oh, uh, 18 yeah. to hit. So you pull out the me needle and... What do you say? Uh, hang on, I've got it written down. Uh, 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 it's not showing it in the blooming thing. Hang on. Might be in my equipment. Uh, I wrote it down. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got the dagger plus one in there, and then I've got the pin of mending. Uh, stitches. Stitches. That's right. You say stitches. I believe it is a bonus action to activate. Uh, 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 uh. Let me just double check. Oh God, come on, where are you? Uh, it just says mention stitches to turns into plus one silver dagger. All right, well, I'm going to, I'm not sure if it is a bonus action, so I'm going to err on your side with this. It is a free action okay. to turn it from the pin into the dagger. So as you creep into the room, you pull out your pin, stitches. It turns into a dagger in your hand, and you reach up and stick the imp just as it is attacking the uh, thing. However, a nine. 18. An 18. Oh, because you were hidden, right? <clears throat> Very good. It looks down in utter surprise. That's me again. <laughs> <laughs> and it falls to the ground. Really? And, it, <laughs> and melts into a purplish goo that steams and stinks of brimstone. I look to the guard. <laughs> I'm a goblin. And then he's just... <laughs> and that was he's it. absolutely petrified. It just looks like he has maybe two hit points left. <laughs> you know, if you had to make a guess. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jax. Next we have Rim. Now, I did not hear anything about the two secret doors. Is that correct? I don't know that there's another door uh, beyond where I Jax is. I do not believe anybody mentioned it. Okay. Then, in that case, I am going to uh, move to the red skeleton. Uh, and, uh, no, I will not walk through the wall. And I will uh, bring my uh, quarterstaff down uh, upon his head. Uh, but it is only a 10. A 10? Will not succeed. Alas. Indeed. Oh. Uh, I will stay where I am. Very good. One moment. While I do take care of some pests. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. No, I lied. I'm going to take one step back because I didn't uh, dispel his uh, turn on dead, did I? Uh, no, if, you, not, didn't, not you didn't actually hit him, so no. I yeah. will give uh, Falcon room to get in there, so I'll take one step back with my last bit of movement. That's two guards around him anyway, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, is that guy alive? Yeah. Take care yeah. of each other. Oh. Yeah, that's the captain that you just walked over. Oh. Right. Well, I couldn't have done that, friend. They're just that's walking okay. on, walking on, <laughs> walking on. Broken You're moving glass. through a space occupied by a friend, well, so I mean, it's that, okay. Uh, that explains why you did not succeed. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, Awkward reach. Back down to uh, Falkland. Hot dog. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send the uh, spiritual weapon uh, after Mr. Red. Very good. Let's see if we can finish that bit of business. So here we go. What's I'm save? afraid a 13 Ooh. does not uh, hit. Abominations. All right, then. So uh, with that not finishing the deal, I'm going to go ahead and move up myself to then uh, take a swing with my Warhammer. Swing at the hammer. And oh, wow. No, I've done even worse with an eight. So lovely. All right. So it is just. Can you ping yourself, Falcon? Yes, I am right Oh, I see. Okay, so you move. Got it. Yeah. Yes, I'm afraid the eight also does not succeed. Yeah, no, I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> really? Not a big whiff. But Captain Kyberian is next. He will save us. <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> Come on, Captain. I believe in you. Oh, with a 24. Nice. Down comes the blade, double handed, and down goes 
the red skeleton. Yeah. I'm going to move you briefly, Falcon. That's fair. There we go. Back you go. <laughs> Back goes the spiritual weapon. Are you keeping a uh, count of how many rounds it has been? Let's see here. It has been... It's all right. I am. We're, we're in round well, two. It's all right. I am. We're in I'm... round two. No. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> kidding. Yeah, no kidding, right? Uh, no, I believe it's uh, it's been four rounds of activation for the uh, spiritual weapon. That's right. So at the end mm -hmm. of this, we'll be beginning uh, round five. Yes, indeed. So that is the end of you. That's the end of Captain Kyberin. He finishes his attack and says, ah, Now what? First floor guard looks at him and says, Wait for orders. A couple of other things happen. <laughs> Guards stay a thing. And, and anything we anything. should know about, maybe? Yeah, maybe. maybe. We're working on it. <laughs> working on it. Uh, moving. Right. Okay. The two guards who are standing guard outside of uh, the master bedchamber are standing. They look like they wish to come in. But before they do, appearing out of thin air right next to Lady Australis is a shadowy form Crap. with his two daggers out ah. and he goes to attack. Typhon, make your attack. Okay. I will do so. Ugh, 13. One moment. Yeah. Boop. <sighs> 13, you say. I do say. Do yes. you? Do you indeed? I am so annoyed by some of these things. A 13 hits? Oh! Oh wow. my gosh. Hey, hey, he just let this sink in for a second. One necrotic damage. <laughs> he takes the necrotic damage. And he but my him. taunt as well has just echoed through it. Um, <laughs> echoed through the room, Very I nice. believe. Yeah. Critical sad damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Critical redirect your attention. <laughs> so. Well, his first attack deflects off of the mage armor that seems to be shivering around Astralis. She screams. The second attack, however, does not. Oh, crap. And he slashes at her with his dagger. And it doesn't seem to be that deep of a blow just across her wrist, but the blood in her arms spurts out and streaks across the room. And she gasps and looks at it and falls to her knees and falls to the ground as the uh -oh. blood begins to pour out of her. He has a friend. What? He appears and as he does, Silas, you feel a familiar feeling creep over you, reminds you of when you fought the skull-headed man in the sewers. You feel your blood begin to boil as if it wants to leap out of your skin. And he attacks you. Hitting AC 17. That is 17 meat to beat. You take six points of slashing damage. I'm oh, sorry, piercing damage. Six. Second attack hits AC 11. Nope. Very well. Both of them. Stab me in the back, this guy. They finish their attacks and they disappear. Ugh. Silas, you feel the feeling of your blood in you dissipate. 
soon as he has moved away from you somewhere. All right. That brings us to... Let's see, we're down to... Sir Gathered Stag. No! He comes rushing in to uh, stand over Lady Australis and begins to wildly wave about with his sword. Next, we have Persephone. I'm going to go straight over to Australis um, and uh and she's still bleeding, like she's bleeding out, is yes, what it looks she's like. Bleeding out. She, I'm, I'm giving her death saves. Um. All right. I'm. I'm gonna give her my potion. Well, mm, no. I'm just gonna heal her. Uh, I'm gonna try and heal her. Um. Spells. Uh. Healing word. Uh. Heal mm. for eight. Very good, Persephone. As you move over there you feel your blood begin to boil and try to escape your body. I say, watch out. Okay, so you heal her. The wound on her arm closes and you see vitality begin to return to her face. She blinks her eyes and says, Armor. And she's holding on to a bracelet on her hand. Armor in the hole. Uh, Persephone, that is the end of your turn. Jameis Exhaltarian mm-hmm. is dead. Silas. Have I skipped anybody? <laughs> <laughs> you skipped Silas. No. Skylas, no. it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to step. I, it, it won't show it on the map because I'm attached to the grid, but I'm actually standing in the doorway, so I'm splitting the middle right between the door. Very good. By the way, there's so this no- fellow right here, the pink guard here, there's blood just everywhere. Okay. Um, but <laughs> Whatever. Quite, yeah, Whatever. No, it's, it's, what am I going to do? Turn, blood turn around floor. and heal it, him? There is a large amount of blood on the floor. It could be significant. I, I, I'm standing in the doorway straddling it. Right. And I'm going to try to see if I can perceive anything about, you know, I was just, I turned, so I'm looking this way. Okay. And I had the feeling that guy moved away, but I don't want to be out in the open so multiple guys could swarm in. So I'm standing in the doorway, nothing can get past me either way, and looking this way to perceive where did the thing go, can I see anything? All right, make a perception check. Right, that's something that I can do. Button, button, button. Ha ha! Five. <laughs> you gaze around wildly. Uh, there's people screaming and dying in the bedroom. There's people screaming and dying out here. You you don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm going to hold an action. Uh, I've literally just made one step. I'm going to hold an action to swing uh, my... Uh, actually, no. For, first, I'm going to use Divine Sense. I'm afraid Uh Divine Sense is not available to you, Silas. I'm going to cry inside, and then I'm going to hold an action to attack any hostile creature with my glaive. All right. And that is with reach, so if I see anything approaching me, I would be able to get my, uh, hopefully, I would be able to get an attack of opportunity off before it got in uh, in its reach. Mm -hmm. I'm all done. Gotcha. That brings us to the end of the round. Chazric continues to just sit. And we are back up to Typhon for the beginning of round six. Okay, I will move into this space and look about me. Um, I'm assuming I don't see anything. Um, you could make a perception check. Okay, um, I, I will do so. I'm hoping not to use my action to do so, but um, I've right. got a five, so, you know, pretty <laughs> solid there. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming what I see exactly represents the room. In which case, I will look about me, and any um, hidden attacker that appears, I begin to, um, uh, uh, I bite down hard on my teeth, and a bit of green liquid begins to flow from my incisors. 
<laughs> kind of spits out from my teeth and I feel it fall onto my hands and I wave them around and prepare to cast hideous laughter onto any attacker that appears around me. Very nice. Jax. Typhon's hideous laughter. I don't know who Tasha is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just Tasha. I hear she's hysterical. <laughs> I'm like, I walk, I walk out. Are you all right? Uh, where's the other one? I walk past him. I'm asking him, where's the other one? Uh, I, I only saw the one. Yeah. Oh. Um. T- uh, the secret door. Did she? Did the man say it was through here? He said it was in the room past the dining room. Oh, uh, past mm-hmm. that. Um, I will bonus action hide. Very good. So I've moved there by using five, ten feet. Bonus action hide for a twenty-three. Very good. And then I will enter the room. Uh, this appears to be um, a sitting room of sort. There's a faint scent of tobacco, and nothing moving in here. No. Make a perception check. Perception, you say. Fifteen. You do not see anything moving. Oh, my passive's higher. That was crap. Um, I'm going to start searching for a secret door then. Very good. Make an investigation check. Oh god. Where are you searching? Um so what did he say? Did he say trapdoor? Secrets. Secret. Dead secret. I'm gonna search here. Right. For an infest it's gonna be a natural twenty guys. Feel it, it's a four. <laughs> 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 or do I get advantage as I know there's one in here? Um, clutching, clutching the straw. Sure, that that <laughs> that makes sense. You do get advantage. There is no secret door on this wall. Okay. Twenty-two then. <laughs> That's my action. Mm-hmm. Am I still hidden? You, as long as you are. Your line of sight from whatever you're hiding for has not mm-hmm. been. You you can hide and you can move, and as long as where you stop is you have full cover from whatever it is yep. you're hiding from, you continue to be hidden. Okay. That's so me. It's me done. Reveal all this. All right. Since you all have looked down the uh, the halls here. Um, oh, Jax, I should probably... Is that a normal that door? You. What? Is that actually a normal door that I'm searching for a secret door at? Yes. Oh, God, I wouldn't have done it there then, would I? Uh, so I, I, I will <laughs> allow you to have uh, to do that again, because I feel like if I had revealed that earlier, <laughs> as I should have, since you all were down there uh, running well, around... The furthest I could move is here, so I'll search in this spot for a secret door. I can't. Very good. Oh, no, I could probably search here, actually, can I? Yeah, I'll search in so the we'll middle. So we'll say, we will say with the 22, we'll keep the same search. You search right in the middle of the room. There is yep. no secret door. As you, as far as you can tell, there's no secret door in the middle okay. of the room. That is the end of Jax. Yeah. Rin. All right. Uh, hearing the screams from upstairs, I am going to... Um, climb the tapestry to get up to the second floor. Make an athletics check. Climb the athletics. Do so. Uh, uh, it yes. is a 15. So it uh, it does not... In normal circumstances, you just take two... Uh, it costs you two extra movement to, to climb. But uh, since you're trying to move fast, I just wanted to make you have you make the check. Um, and up you go. All right, so climb one, two. 20 feet. So that's 40, that's 20 would be um, eight squares of movement. Okay, that would put me at the lip of the balcony, correct? Yes. Okay, so uh, let me futz here. I'm zooming out so I can get upstairs. Um, uh, with uh, the remainder of my action, I'm actually just going to uh, continue my movement in the direction of that's not where I'm landing. Uh, in the direction of uh, where I heard the screams. All right, so that's twenty. Are you are you able to move your token? Uh, I am now. Yes, it yeah. just took a little while to get there. For so you would have uh, come up there. 
Uh, so probably about here. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's as that's, far as I can go. That, I believe that is correct. Um, then we are on to Falcon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shout to the captain and uh, and Soldier Orange uh, to go ahead and follow me. I'm gonna do five, ten. You see a guard crouched on the ground. He's got uh, big welts on his neck and on his hands that are sort of swelling up. And uh, at his feet, he's staring at just this loathsome pile of steaming purplish goo. All right. I'm going to say, Goblin, where did he go? Uh, he points to the uh, door behind him. All right. All right. And I'm going to go the, ahead. The hero, and... Goblin. What's that? The hero, Goblin. Oh. <laughs> you saved my life. <laughs> Is there any other kind? All right. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and can I'm going to take my dash action to continue my movement. Uh, and then I'm going to actually stop myself uh, before, as I like try to move past him. And then I'm going to go ahead and cast a healing word as a bonus action on him. Okay. So that he can get himself back to a world that's not... Wow! 10 point healing void! Ooh. There we go. Yes. Alright. And then... <sighs> And then Shakes as he his head and it stands up. Feeling better? Yes. Good. Follow me. Yes, ma'am. Skeletons are all dead. <laughs> well, I mean, technically they're undead. Right. Yeah. So, right, right, right. Okay. No, it's dead, dead. <laughs> Bone dead. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Captain Kyberian follows you. The last guard follows you. Falcon and her army. Um, now we're up to those guys. Okay. After all this, it's Chosrick who's the big bad evil guy. He's just got away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the two guards who are standing guard, is everything okay? They're sort of <laughs> inching away from the uh, the um, bedchamber, um, sort of taking a step or two in, and one of them looks at you, Rim. It's like, what's happening? I have no idea. Next up, we have... Ah, interesting. Silas, your blood begins to boil. I think you skipped some people. Did I? Mm, uh, I think he no, no, is. No, I, he's I, 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 rolling for an NPC. Yes. Yeah. And, and I'm having a reaction right. to the presence oh. of Silas. Oh. So the, were you holding an action? I believe you were. I was holding an action to strike with my glaive. Make your attack. With the glaive. Uh, I was wow. also holding an action. To glaive. Uh, were you, were you glaive. specifically looking in that direction? Or do you want to choose, uh, choose whichever one I suppose? Wow. Uh, they, they both appear at the same time. So, uh, which doesn't really make sense but that's the way initiative works um they both the one the same time. i would go with big orange here as soon as he appeared well i'll let silas reconcile his first okay so make your attack silas 12 to hit i'm afraid a 12 does not hit mm. um typhon um, yes. my, I hold my spell, it goes off. The one next to me, hopefully, as it attacks, is beset by hideous laughter. And this is a wisdom save? It is a wisdom save, indeed. A 14. That is a natural one. Oh, <gasps> ah. lucky Typhon. So, before nice. it attacks, right? Before yes. it attacks. Hey! It well done, Typhon. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to, he, he he has two daggers out. It looks like he's about to drive them into Astralis's neck. Like he's literally inches away. All of a sudden he stops. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and falls down prone upon the bed. Ooh. You ever dance with the devil in the pale midnight? Indeed. Silas, couple attacks coming at you. Bring 11. It. Nope. 16. Nope. He disappears. Ooh. And the feeling of your blood wanting to leave your body subsides. Very well. That brings us to Persephone. Um, can I use my movement to sort of shove Astralis under the bed? Like that she's right next to. Yes. Uh, um, make an athletics check with advantage. Awesome. You are much heartier than she is. Uh, one, two, one. Whoa. So that is a seven. I need better than a seven. Hey. Ah. Aha. Ooh, a twenty-two is good. There you go. So that is yes, so. you. She. She's. She's in the process of standing up, and she looks over at you, and you just wide-eyed as you just shove her under the bed. Yoink! Uh, <laughs> and there she is under the bed. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to ready an action uh, with my rapier for the next time I see the thing that keeps appearing. Well, the next time would be right now. He has not disappeared. He has fallen, oh, okay. laughing his head off on the bed. You still have an action. I um, I, I will say that it. pushing Australis took half of your movement. Okay, cool. Um, if I'm right here, can I just reach across with my rapier and poke him? You can. You have advantage because he is on his back. Nice. Um... He's on his back, and you're going to poke him on the bed. Sorry. Da, 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 you know. <laughs> Low-hanging fruit, Silas. Indeed. I mean, I would say don't make jokes, but we do have Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. I resemble that remark. Uh, 12. Was that an advantage? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, that's disappointing. And um, well, I have my bonus action still. He's so. wiggling around on the bed, just sort of rolling back and forth, and you try to time it just right, but he <laughs> zags when you expect him to zig. I'll try it. And you leave him. a nice hole in the bed, and feathers come up as you it's pull like out the ring wraiths <laughs> and feather <Exactly>. pillows. Yes, <laughs> oh, at, at Bree. <laughs> and here's my dagger. 20, well, 22. Now that hits. Let's see more of that. Six damage. I oh, know it's not. Uh, oh yeah, it is. You've got the feet, haven't you? Five damage. You yeah. rolled three times, so five damage. Thank you. It was with. Uh, oh, damage. I don't get advantage on both. Yeah. She does. She oh, does, you do get but... advantage on both. So I guess so the five, and this will, we'll take the six. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, six damage. Um, you slash him across the, the belly and he is gripping it. Uh, looks like he's gripping it in pain, but he's got a wide eyed expression on his face. His face is painted black. You can see his eyes, his teeth. He's missing some teeth. He's unshaven. He's just wide eyed. His eyes are bulging out as he laughs and blood pours out of his buddy. Whoa. His buddy? His body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend, my buddy. <laughs> I feel sorry for him now because you've got someone that's got three attacks about to hit him. <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, <laughs> so Catherine Stag... With advantage. Looks, gather, looks what, gather in <laughs> your <laughs> staggering strength and strike true. Yeah. Anderson turns around and sees him. Goes, <laughs> 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 Lots of rolling to do. Oh, that's a crit. Yeah. Oh my! I'm suddenly yeah, very I'm not even going to finish that. That's that's two crits. Wow. Um, so he just brings his sword down, just 
chops the bed into smithereens, and in it somewhere is the bloody remains of a body. <laughs> we, uh, did we just suffocate the. And we shoved Australis underneath the bed, yes. did we? Oh. <laughs> Australis is. <laughs> boom, boom. You'll be safe under here. Yeah. <laughs> Help. Look out for All the right. knives. <laughs> Silas, it's your turn. I am looking around. <laughs> Make a perception check. Right, I can do that. I can fail a perception check anytime you want. Five. <laughs> oh my god! So I'm going to stay in the doorway, straddling the door frame, and uh, ready in action to strike anything that comes near me again. Because I'm, I'm, it, it, defense wise, I'm in a doorway. It has to come from in front of me or behind me, and my guy's got my back. But we're so you good. Down, you can't readying an attack for anything hostile that approaches. Right, <laughs> you uh, you were certain you saw where the guy went, but then you heard a crash and a scream and the sound of a sword destroying a bed. And you looked, and you said, wow, I've got to watch that. And you saw that happen, and then you look back and you lost track. That brings us to Chazric, who remains unconscious. And we're back up to Python. Round seven. Is there any sound at all? Can we tell where this thing Make is heading off check. to? Ooh, that would be the appropriate um, thing to do when I ask that question, huh? Um, 16. Um, you are sure that he is not in this room. Um, you are fairly certain of that. Okay. Especially since Silas is right there in the door and you would have had to have move past him. Uh, unless he did a misty step or something like that. Unless he did. Got it. Um, we've got a corpse here. Oh, boy. Um, oh, boy. I don't know what to do. Um, so I will just... Uh, um, is is the lady under the bed all okay? She's... Yeah. If I peek under there, does she look okay? She does. You know, I would say that's part of the uh, for the uh, part of the um, perception. Okay, um, I will use my action to cast minor. I'll be like, just don't move too far, and I will cast minor illusion to create the look of like a some sort of like trunk that you would keep under your bed, essentially, over the top of her. So okay. if it were if it came in and started to look for her invisibly, if it looked under the bed, it would just see like, oh, people just shove shit under their bed, very pretending good, pretending like they clean their room. Nice. So right, um, that's Which that's what us. I will do with my triggered action. triggered attacked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just feel, yeah. <laughs> I How see dare it you. perfectly in my mind. Um, go fast. Yeah. It's 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 a step up though from the people who just put their box frame on the floor and put a uh, <laughs> mattress on top of that. <laughs> 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 All right, Jax, you're up. Um, obviously, I can hear people coming from behind me. I will go over through the whole room, even on this wall. I just start checking around to see where it was. They said this room, yeah? Mm -hmm. Make an investigation check, please. At advantage. Yes, indeed. Uh, 21. You have found a secret door. Um, you look at very carefully at that chandelabra right there, and you realize that it is attached to the floor somehow. You reach down and it looks like there's a little lever that somebody could lift with their foot or depress. Um, you do so and a door opens and reveals a staircase going up and down. Ooh. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Ooh. How do I get to it? Uh, there, I'm sorry. The only reason why it is there is it's far away like that is because I didn't. Oh, so it's, it, so it's in this it. corner. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's right there. You there that there is. Um, you can I will draw, go you up can... then. Can I can I hear anyone in there? Um, make a perception check. Twenty one. Mm. Uh, you do not hear anything. I will um, use my movement to go upstairs then. All right, upstairs you go. 
Um, I will take care of you next time you have a turn. Can I go up? Hey. Can I go up hiding? Is that? A, can I hide? Um, so let's see. You moved. I've moved ten ins- feet so far. You moved spare. You inspected. You move, yeah. You have your bonus action. Bonus action hide. Um, yeah. So it's not exactly hiding. You're just moving stealthily. Stealthily, yeah. So roll a stealth check. Thirteen. Thirteen. Up you go. Moving at half speed. Rim. All right. I will round the corner. Did I unmute myself? Yes, I did. I will round the corner and. Uh, should I do a perception check? What is it that I see in front of me? Uh, you see a dead body, a large blood stain, and that is all. That's it. Um, I will. Uh, I will. Then I wouldn't know what's been happening, so I will continue to step forward and uh, move towards Astralis's uh, bedroom. All right. And I will ready. Uh, I will ready my bow to attack uh, the first bad guy that pops out. All right. Um, so you've moved. You've moved your movement, and you are now ready in action to attack the first bad guy that you see. That is correct. Very good. Rim is done. Fulcrum. All right. Uh, as I enter the room, is the like? Am I? Can I see the secret entrance from like? The, was as it left open? Um, it was not left open. Make a perception check. Lovely. All right then. So. I and my small army. Uh, you, you might have just caught it closing. That's what we're checking to see. Mm. Right. I'm afraid that is not high enough. Damn. It closed my behind. It closed behind Jax. Um, oh, sorry. And there is. I thought it'd be left open. I didn't realize this it was room so is open. this room is empty as far as you can tell. Mm-hmm. But you so know I, that there is a. The secret door is adjacent to the master bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, so as I, I enter will the... say yeah uh, that I will say that with stone cutting you oh, know God, that the, uh, that, the uh, <laughs> that the um because what Chazrick said there's a secret door adjacent to the room next to the master bedroom so you should be underneath that room now and based on okay well it can't be on the wall that's between the master mm-hmm. bedroom and that room it must be you know exactly where to look so go over there and make your investigation check with a bench Lovely. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, and now I've disappeared into the wall. All right, so stone cutting, don't fail me now. All right, and then investigation check. Mm-hmm. It's an <laughs> eight. Oh. You got advantage. Oh, I got it. Oh, I've got a patch. Oh. Thanks, game master. And a five. Oh my god. Oh my. The, uh, I will I will direct everyone's attention to the chat log where someone said, Hey, at least we got all our criticals out of the way and we're uh-huh. covering. Curse. Uh-huh. Cursed. <laughs> cursed. Cursed. <laughs> something about the way This place is so build, cursed. Something about the way I feel like I'm just build build buildings in Baldur's Gate. Buildings, sewers. They seem to use a lot of river stones. Like, it makes sense because the Chandar is right there, and they just don't fit together the way a dwarf would build it. Yeah, I feel like my stone cunning is more stone incompetent at this point, but... You know it must be on this wall, but you can't figure out where it is. All right. Um, The dice tell a story. The dice tell a story. (laughs) Captain Kyberian comes running in. What are you... I hate this sometimes. Oh god! All right, he comes running in. What do we do? There's a there's a trap door. What? Help me! I uh, okay. What do I do? Look for a trap door. Uh, uh, he starts to look around on the floor. No, <laughs> on this wall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. He comes over and he begins to look. <laughs> And since the two other guys go right afterwards, they all come over. And love they all, it. I love make, it so much, Sean. <laughs> three investigations. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <here> <laughs> to see. Mm. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, okay. man. All right. Okay, that's a fail. Oh, God. 
Yeah. <laughs> what a fail. <laughs> Captain Kyberan, save us. That's another fail. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you all oh, so very okay. much for joining us on tonight's game of <laughs> Is It a Wall? <laughs> oh my goodness. Trapped in a room. <laughs> How many idiots we got in this house? <laughs> um, well, there's always next round. Um, okay. Uh, the second floor elite guard continue to elitely guard the door. Persephone. Oh, wait. All right. Yes. Persephone. Your turn. I, I kneel under uh, the bed, and though I can no longer see her, I know she's there, and I say, what do you mean the armor and your bracelet? Yes, the, the bracelet. If you put the arm, this bracelet on the, on the, on the, on the, uh, on, on the hilt of the sword that the uh, the uh, armor, the armor. It, yeah. it, 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 in the hall in the hall looking over the great the great 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 hall and uh, you recall that as you have run past you have seen armor standing here and here um, if you if you put it over the hilt it, it, it will animate it protect the house okay give me the bracelet she gives you the bracelet uh, I'm going to dash, and so uh, ten. seems like I could get there, and that's what I'm doing. So uh, you just ran through a bunch of walls. Oh, sorry. I I I was dashing. Um, yeah, and I counted yeah. out before. Yeah, okay. yeah. You can so move if to you there. could please put yourself back to yep. here. To here. Cool. And that's not close enough to actually put the bracelet on yet, correct? No, I'm sorry. Um, I, of course, you, you were not able to see what I was just picking because I was on the wrong layer again. <laughs> I am moving you to where I wished you to just stop. Gotcha. Right Thank you. Appearing, having held his attack, is... Mr. Man. However, as he appears, we have some held actions, I believe. We do. Uh, I will. Uh, I, am I going first? Presumably. Um, or did somebody else have a held action before me? Silas had a held action as well, you I believe. First. And he's declared his held action before you declared yours. So yes. we'll say Silas goes first. Alrighty. Stabity stab. 13 to hit. 13 is the AC. Doing 10 points of damage. Very nice. good. Ugh. Grunts. Now, Rim. Uh, shootity shoot. Shooty um, shoot. And that is a crit. Oh! Yeah! Uh, so the that is. Crit's return. Yes, yeah, about time. Uh, that's for nine points of Very AC good. <laughs> the, the arrow sticks into his shoulder. <laughs> And he looks at Persephone and brings both daggers across her throat. Oh. Um, Persephone, as you entered into that space, you felt the familiar feeling of your blood trying to escape your body. And we have hitting AC 14. Uh, that is my AC. All right. Ooh, oh. You take nine points of piercing damage. AC 12, which does not hit, uh, apparently. Is also and my then, AC. Which is also <laughs> my AC. <laughs> then he disappears. So did I, did he surprise me? I didn't use my full dash. So did I get to it? Would I have gotten to attack him at all? He was holding his action until ah. somebody came into range. Understood. So, so he could you turn came invisible in range, again. So you, he, he attacks and he turns invisible. Gotcha. However, let me think. How would this work? So he was holding his attack. He used a reaction to hit her. Yeah, she can, he can use a reaction. Can complete. Yeah. yeah, you can continue moving if you wish, or you can attack him again before he turns invisible. 
I want to do that. I'll attack him. All right. Uh, come. Wait, a Wait a minute. Let me look up some Oops. stuff. Cool. Can you give me just a second to look up yep. some stuff? Yep, definitely. It's so quiet. I know. <laughs> We're all waiting with bated breath. This is the sound. It's the library where we do our research and murder. do the stat blocks of creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, right. I've got a better um, book than that. It's that one. According to what I am reading I got here, that one too. Because, because he used a reaction, he did not take his attack. That means he does not get to do his special ability, which means he turns invisible. So he does not get to turn invisible. He cool. made a reaction. This was not an attack. He is at your mercy. So. Cool. Uh, so Don't I rolled a 23 to hit with my rapier. Hits. Nine damage. Take Very good. That damage. Then I'm gonna hit him with my dagger. Take that dagger damage. And this is sixteen hits. Sixteen hits. Five more damage. This That's bard is how much out points some... he had left. Wow. She's Persephone the Merciless. Wow. <laughs> We're wow. so lucky we haven't got a uh, fighter or a paladin. I mean, our bard's yeah. just like kicking ass. <laughs> uh -oh. Is he trying to find a door? So you know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the final blow is yours, Persephone. Oh, oh my uh, god, yes! Uh, with the dagger. So, um... <sighs> uh, I'm, I'm just gonna have... The rapier does, like, a, a heart pierce, and then the dagger is just gonna do a throat cut. Um... Alright. So, so he's just got, a quick... He's He's been struck by the uh, by Silas's glaive. He has an arrow sticking out of his shoulder. You stab him in the gut with the rapier, and he's looking down. He's looking at you. He just hit you. He should have killed you, but it didn't. And the dagger goes across his throat, and he vomits blood on the floor and sinks down to his knees and expires. And my friends, there is much left to do. But I think that will be where we end our session. Oof. But uh, um, you're yeah, having fun. So, so I heard there were some people before we end the stream. I heard there were some people that did some some Dracula thing, and they got some other thing coming up. What's all that about? Uh, no, yeah. no, 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 that's yeah. nothing. No. So Ohio Shakespeare Festival um, on our Facebook page, we did a live stream of our original Dracula play, but we turned it into a radio play with like sound effects and stuff. It was some old school spooky thrills, super fun. Um, so that's still on our Facebook page if you want to go and just look at our videos and it lives there. It's also on our YouTube page, Ohio Shakespeare Festival. But then on the 27th in the morning on Saturday morning, we're going to do our original Robin Hood and Adventure with Music. So think those like Disney records that you played that told you the story and sang the songs. It's that, uh, but now, with Robin Hood. No, no, that's going to be, is that going to be video? Is that going to be audio? It's like a radio thing again? Yeah, it's like a radio thing. We mm -hmm. still do it on Zoom so you can see the people's boxes light up about who's talking, but it's just a picture of them. Oh, so there won't be any video fighting, bummer. Well, no, there will actually, because we are, we're cheating, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for this video, uh, we're specifically going to do some uh, out of distance, uh, fully masked, but a, a little quarterstaff fight action. So uh, we've... Our, we we kind of usually do uh, lots of elaborate fights for our shows, and we've been kind of Jones to take another crack at it. So uh, so check it out. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Well, Yay! Thanks again, everybody, for sticking yeah. with us. Wow, we did. Yeah. Well.